Hello! Good evening, Twin Minds here. We are back at the Nom Nom Factory, doing more and more ridiculous levels of automation to get this shit done, and we're still barely even halfway done. How's it going, Pine? Oh, it's going. Oh, it's going. It's, uh, it's going, it's going quickly, but also slowly. Mm-hmm. Like, we can, we can process, you know, thousands of things in a moment. But the progress of getting anywhere seems real slow. We are well, hopefully the automation will uh, pick that up. It, it will help quite a bit, yes. Um, so we are, what is this, roughly halfway done with the mid-game tab, give or take? Give or take. And then a little over a third, maybe, of the full progression tab? Hard to say for sure, but but yeah, we still have a plenty of ways to go. Sure do. Sure do. So I said, take it you're gonna keep working on your uh, your thinger there. I do still have stuff to do in the machine room, yes, but I'm I'm happy to assist where needed. Oh no, I mean that's probably pretty important to get that rolling. Okie dokie. Um, I did finish finally. The cataloging of all of the parts. At least all of the, the relevant subcomponents that are in several different types of metal. Sure. Okay. Good. Good. So we have we have a very large spreadsheet that covers things like rods and plates and double plates and long rods and bolts and screws and rings and nuts and bolts and things and stuff. Um all, all of those bits and pieces. The only thing I didn't really cover were the turbine blades, and we had talked about that off-stream, or on-stream, I don't remember anymore, um, where we really just need to determine a blade that we're going to use, and then we can easily automate that where Yeah, necessary. that'll be... that'll be later. Yeah. So, uh, and I didn't, of course, I didn't touch any of the, um, the material-based tool components, because we'll be crafting those as we need them, and hopefully less and less of those as we automate more and more. Right. Hopefully. We're still going to need, like, wrenches and stuff, but whatever, so we don't need to automate that. How to Blade, how to Kinder, how to Staffy, how you guys doing? So I was trying to play around with uh, an idea for making this glass wall around the building less busy. Okay. So two examples here. Yeah, I, I do I do appreciate both of these. Um, I think I would lean towards the A2 quartz glass. Okay. A L little bit less busy. Um, the bubble glass is nice. I do I do like it. Um, and the 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 duller colored gray that they use does also seem to make it a little bit less busy as well. Mm -hmm. Um, kind of fifty fifty on that honestly, because the the A2 glass has less uh, less extra element to it for the, the decorative slashes but they are brighter so they still stand out more. Right. So, I don't know. I'd, I'd be okay with either, so whichever you end up preferring. Okay. Yeah, because I had earlier today I had installed uh, Optifine to uh. and, like, fiddle with some like uh, just making things run a little smoother and look a little nicer. Yeah. Primarily because of that the, the lighting effects on that one. You just want pretty lights. Posted. Yeah. Of course, Optifine doesn't do that. I need a shader that right. go with it and all that, but right. Optifine removed the bloom from the Greg Tech machines. Oh, and interesting. It, it caused a couple of other errors with some other blocks. So I didn't want. Uh, I looked at the clock and it was like 4 30 when I started fiddling with that. I'm like, I don't have time to do this right now before <laughs> stream. So I just uninstalled it and maybe I'll poke at it again this weekend, but. The, okay. uh, the way Optifine handled the glass made it look so much nicer. Oh, really? Okay. And then when I rem when I removed it and can't load it back in, I was like, ah, God, this is... I hate it! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't honestly remember what changes Optifine does, but I do remember... I thought I remember something in the Nama Factory pack itself that mentioned don't use Optifine because they already added a lot of optimization elements to the pack. Mm. But I don't know for sure. Could be. I was mostly trying to figure out a way to, oh, well, on top of the, the nice lighting, but also uh, mitigate the 
Java's horrible garbage collection process where, oh, yeah. you know, every, what, five minutes or so, the game just suddenly, like, stutters and then goes again? Yeah, yeah, I've noticed that a bit. It doesn't yeah. happen that often, and it doesn't happen until we've been playing for several hours. But since we do tend to play for several hours each night, it does right, build up so after a while. I was trying to find, find ways to help that out as yeah. well. Well, let me know what you find. I will. Uh, I would say if you're going to do a shader, don't do one that's like a texture pack, just a lighting pack. Oh, yeah. For because sure. texture packs tend to um, make the vanilla blocks really pretty, but then it clashes like a mofo against all of the modded blocks that Anything don't have modded, a shader yeah. or a, a texture option. Yeah. Yeah, I was just looking for lighting shaders, but most yeah. of them are. Yeah. I wasn't finding a whole lot of them for 1.12. Yeah, that well, doesn't surprise so. me. Yeah. Well, I did not make too terribly much progress on my machine room like I said I was gonna because mm -hmm. I got distracted finishing off all of the, the parts identification. But so I, you're... Sorry. I did finish one thing. Yeah. I finished looking at the assemblers uh -huh. for automation. Um, and in terms of parts making, we only need a none circuit, one, four, six, and eight. So now I'm trying to figure out how how much how many of each of those we need. Uh, the ones uh, that tend to be the longest cooks. So I figured I'd probably end up swapping the one over to like the opposite wall and having more of those. What kinds of things is, are going through the assembler? Um, the assembler is going to be um, so this is this is a little bit more a little bit more extra above what I had originally planned. Um, but stuff like all of the uh, machine casings uh -huh. uh, go into the eight. Um, we've got the uh, we've got the the hoppers and the crafting stations going into the nun circuit one. Uh, okay. Probably a couple others we might want to tack in there, but I, don't, I didn't I didn't want to read through all that at the moment. Um, but then also uh, the uh, what the hell was it? Uh, the machine blocks, I think it is. What the hell's it called? Oh, the um, the frame box. So like titanium frame box that then uh, gets used to make things like the stable titanium machine casings, the titanium pipe casings for all the Greg Tech multi blocks. Yeah. So those are uh, either a four or a six, depending on if it's the frame box or the casing that goes around it. So I was thinking of automating all of those for when we want to do more multi-block stuff. Because we tend to need to craft those those multi-block machine cases in like the dozens at least. Yeah. So that's what the, the four and the six are for. Uh, the circuit one uh, is things like um, UV fluid regulators, um, maintenance hatches, just other miscellaneous parts and bobs, the uh, emitters of each level. All those, all those little parts, the the conveyor modules. All those little things that we might want to have several of or auto crafted. That we may not already have auto crafted elsewhere. That's that's what the the one is for, and that's why that one might end up being on its own line because some of those some of those later tier cooks are like thirty plus seconds each. Got it. So I'm thinking ahead to stuff that we, you know, may have automated in like your LV and MV and HV automation components that we might want to start ramping up to faster, uh, faster production or to the IV versions or anything like that. Those can all be automated through those those circuit assemblers or regular assembler regular assemblers using a circuit number. There we go. Those are just me fiddling with with uh, potential ideas for other automation in the in the, in the machining okay, room. Okay. So here's something else I was thinking about. Uh huh. And I don't know if this is feasible, but I know you had mentioned having a lot of these other things on auto craft or the passive craft, like the storage for these things. Yeah. And the other other walls and whatnot. And yeah. This is going to be like just automatic crafting. Yeah. I don't know if this is feasible with the way you've got it set up currently, but what about like um, 
having like this area if you don't already have it earmarked for something, but I have all the stuff that you're auto crafting passively stored here, so that way you can use your system for both, and we can just retire those walls. Uh, very possible, yes. Because um, with with this room, all we would need to do to have a passive storage is to have an export bus saying export that item into wherever. Okay. And that export bus would have a crafting card in it, and it would just trigger a craft. So if that export bus sure. was pointed at, for example, a, a drawer controller with a bunch of you know, locked drawers with each of these parts, yep. it would just export whatever, whenever, into that drawer controller to fill up the spots, and it would stop exporting when it can't anymore. Yeah, I'm just, I was just trying to think, or if we ever do, like, an auto craft where, where we had, like, two different kinds of wires and, like, a couple hundred of each. Yeah. Like, with the current request system here, it's gonna have to chug through one of them and then chug through the other instead of kind of doing them oh, right both simultaneously i don't know if well it's... so the way it's currently set up is you could do you could queue up you know two separate two separate crafts of you know three thousand copper cables and five thousand uh tin cables and those would take approximately four to five minutes tops to do that between the whole setup like without even right. without even juggling it, try to make it go faster. It would just do it. Um, so sure, even sure, sure. even that, it's not that bad of a weight. But yes, having having some readily made is always handy because I I kept finding myself, you know, running out of parts and then having to stop what I was crafting to even queue up a job to do the thing, and then I would have to wait for that to finish, even though it would be a very short time. But then I just kept, I kept getting more and more impatient the more I was realizing I wanted to automate stuff. So, yes, mm. I'm on board with the idea of having auto-crafted backup of all the stuff. We just need to identify which parts we don't have the materials to do that for yet before we do that. Right. Okay, second question. This area yes. is all just like the the base components. We're not doing... You're not doing any of the, like the motors, the pumps, the pistons, the... Not yet, no. Thing? But I can um, okay. So that the some of those components are in this assembler one, like the uh, conveyor the conveyor belt module thing. That's sure. one of like the subcomponents. But I'm not doing any of the motors or anything else like that um, at the moment. But I can. I was starting from the bottom and working my way up. Right. Yeah. Okay. I just I haven't planned out all my space yet, so I don't even know how much space I need at the moment. Sure, sure, um, sure, sure. Like, I might fill up this entire room with extruders by the time I'm done, because I have a lot of extruding to do, which is going to be my next step, actually. i got to do a whole bunch of extruding. Um, but if I have room, or if I feel like going up or down, I can certainly do that. Okay. All right. So I don't know if that eats into any plans you had for automating crap. Ah, uh, no. I was just trying to figure out what I should do and where. Nuclear. Nuclear is already rolling. Yeah, but do we have like all of the nuclear? I don't even know if we need that stuff just yet, but I mean the the reactor chugs through all of our thorium fuel that we had at the time, which was twenty plus hours of processing and that stuff, and now it's working its way up onto the the plutonium field or fuels or sorry, uh, neptunium fuels. And so that's what it's chugging through right now. And then once that's done, I'll set it up to the next highest. It's running. All right. Well, I can tell you that uh, americium, one of the things that you got out of the nuclear processing, is one of the materials that we will need for stuff. We need, we need fine wires of it. We need plates. We need double plates. I think that's it from Americium. So some of those you materials you're get getting out of the nuclear are things that we are going to need in back in, in you, bulk. You're talking from the ingots, though, right? Yes, but the ingots are cooked straight up from Americium 242, extracted out into liquid, and then for, formed into ingots, which we then use to make things out of. So that Americium for uh, 242 that you made with the nuclear reactor 
is a thing that we need. Right. I'm just looking at for the the Greg Tech Amorisium. Uh, you it is needed for progression, but we can't. That is not interchangeable with the nuclear craft Amorisium. It is. So Amorisium ingot, which is Greg Tech, is formed by the liquid version of Amorisium, which is formed by uh, right. extracting so the in, little Amorisium the, pellets that you made. In the, in the quest for it, it says you cannot convert this form of Amorisium to nuclear craft isotopes. So if we need the Amorisium for nuclear or anything, that's got to be a completely separate system. Oh, There's okay. So you're, you're talking way. about not being able to go back again. Right. There's a second way to get the Amorisium through the fusion stuff, which I could work towards to make lutetium lutetium and chrome right so okay. that's one way to get the amorisium as well okay but i'm just wondering because you can't once you change it from nuclear craft to greg tech you can't go back so if you if we convert all of our amorisium into greg tech then and we need it then we gotta like start the whole chain over again to get back up to it got it so got it. i'd be a little hesitant about just throwing all of our amorisium into ingots <laughs> fair I know, Demos, I forgot to push save. Thanks, Paige. But, Demos, I did push save right, to so change the title. I think I'm going to set up some sort of auto crafting for stuff in the bottom floor of the chicken house. But that's unused currently. Okay. What are you, what are you, uh, what are you auto crafting? Well, I'm thinking of doing. Like we need the the lumium running somewhere. We need like signal yep. and processing. Yup. I'm thinking like the the maybe nichrome and canthal and stuff like that. Yep. We need lots of those things. There. Right. Lots. So I'm thinking of that kind of stuff into here. Okie dokie. Son of a bitch. I am not on the game today. I saved the title, but I did not save the game. There we go. Thank you, Ace. <laughs> there, I've hit save again, Demos. You get two saves for one. And now I gotta fix my back. How you guys doing, though? Aside from pointing out all of my failings. I'm, I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Okay, so we need to do extrusion. We need to do a lot of extrusion. Um, I'm thinking I might reserve this side for more um, assembly machines. I don't, I don't know what I want to do for the top and the bottom. Those could be extruders, but I kind of need to figure out how many extruders I need. Uh, let's see. Where, why, hmm. why you know, oh, that's why you know, because you know need. Uh, so, I do have my spreadsheet. Uh, my spreadsheet is not done yet, but I will share it when it is done. Uh, it mostly just needs a little bit of cleanup and some annotation because my shorthand barely even makes sense to me. Um, but... Once it is ready, I will uh, make that a link available on all of my uh, Minecrafty videos for this pack. Because ultimately, the, the sheet that I've got is a listing of all of the metallic subcomponents, wires, cables, plates, etc. And whether or not they are even used to make anything in this pack. So you can determine whether or not you need to even bother auto-crafting them or anything like that. Um, and then... Uh, how they are made. So, for example, aluminum wires, or sorry, aluminum fine wires are made with a wire in a wire mill, whereas americium fine wires are made straight from an ingot in a wire mill because there's no previous wire component for americium. Um, so that kind of information will all be in this sheet, uh, which will help me and whoever else determine 
what type of automation they should set up, how many, that kind of thing. So um, what I can do here, uh, let me, I'm not gonna share this because it's just too much effort, but I need to filter it for myself. Can I filter it? I just, I just switched it over to Google Sheets instead of OpenOffice and all of my ability to navigate is lost. So let me just go back to my, my other sheet. So let me look at, uh, I think long rod, let's go to long rods. Oh, that's a lot more long rods than I thought we'd need. Oh dear. Well, that's unfortunate. So many long rods. Why do I have so many long? Oh, because we have so many springs that are needed. Right. We have several springs that are needed. And the long rods are needed to make springs. So let, let's take a peek at the long rods. Well, the first long rod that's needed is aluminum. Actually, almost everything aluminum is needed. Oops. There we go. Aluminium. So long rods are made in the extruder with ingot or a forge hammer with two rods. But if you can do from ingot and save a step, that's better in the long run because you don't need to wait on a previous processing step to go to the next step. Skipping a step entirely is always good. That's, that's half the duration, basically. So I need an extruder with a long rod shape, but I will also need an extruder for a bolt shape, uh, not for aluminum, but for others. Um, and I will need, after that, I will need another metal bender with a one for the springs. So I'm thinking, since we've got metal benders with ones over here for both plates and foils, I will probably double up and use those. <laughs> yes, indeed. Extruder with a long rod shape. But nice page, good that you're able to, to save your monies. That's that's great. Alright, uh, so let's do... Let's do a quick peek at how we craft the thingies. So long rods. Here, I need to. I need to. I need to annotate more. Hang on. More annotation. Long rods are all through extruders. And then bolts, which are here, are done through extruders. And then screws are done with a bolt in a lathe. So we need we need lathes for any screw work that we need. And then rings are all done in an extruder. This is why I'm saying we need a lot of extruders. Because we're gonna have a lot of need for extruders, and each one of those requires uh, the separate extruder shape. Um, so that extruder is going to need to be dedicated at all times to making rings because there's no way to extract that the extruder shape out of there. So it's just got to be dedicated to make rings. But if I look at my rings, let's, uh, let's filter rings for a second here. Um, we have yay many, which is about 12 different types of, of materials that are needed in ring form. Um, but I can tell you just from remembering basically what I was looking at that we don't need too terribly many of them. So we don't need them in massive bulk quantities. So I could probably dedicate maybe two extruders to ring forming and not having to worry too much about it. What, what, so what, how do you level the nimble stat page? That, that sounds like a difficulty. Uh, alum aluminum spring metal bender. Uh, there's also an item in here that's not in this list called a round, which I thought kind of weird. Um, the springs are also, or the 
Small springs are also a bender. Dude, the crafting recipe for Signalum is insane. Hang on, I gotta look. I never actually looked before. Let's see. Hot ingot from dust. Mixing dust is annealed copper dust, ardite dust, red alloy dust, and the destabilized clathrate. Plus primal mana liquid. Oh dear. How do we even get Ardite in this pack? Oh, red steel dust and blaze powder. I see. And then how do you make red steel? <laughs> Sterling silver dust, bismuth bronze dust, black steel dust, and steel dust. Oh, dear God. And how do you make black steel Oh, dust? no. Because yeah. each one of those is a, a, a separate multi-powder grind. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, you're going to dedicate an entire floor to that one, right? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. Jesus. Okay, so also two things in there that I don't know how to automate. Okay. The void crystals and then the uh, the red coal. Uh, where are the void crystals coming in? Uh, is that the black brown? Or the ah, yep, yep. Black. Okay, so void crystals are the atomic reconstructor coal. Got it. Okay. Um, that right. one is doable and I wasn't I wasn't, well, I had previously talked about doing an atomic reconstructor automation, but I never bothered because we didn't seem to need it that much. But if we're going to need it, I could do that if you want, or I can tell you tell you how. Yeah, I mean, if you already know how, that'd be quicker. But okay. Okay. Um, yeah, that's, that's going to need to be a thing. Okay. Uh, I'm looking for what options we have for droppers. I'm, I'm used to having a pack that has magic in it because the Batania dropper is the best dropper in the world. Um, but I guess we're probably going to have to use something like the Actually Editions Automatic Precision Dropper, I guess. I know there's a way to do it with a formation plane, but I don't remember how exactly. Because mm. the formation plane acts like... Um, it acts like the storage bus. Yeah. Where it only it only forms an item into the real world if it's a newly entered item into the network, as if it's trying to store it in that location. So you can't just export items from the formation bus to make them happen in the world. It's not an easy thing to do unless you do a sub network. Okay, I could do a sub network. It's easy. Hmm. Well, if you ever uh, decide you need a break from your from your automation room, that's that's something you could. Yeah. Uh, yes, play that would that one would work better with a a block for sure. Okay. Uh, let me get some parts going. I'll see if I can see what I can come up with. I'm, I'm still literally counting extruders at this point, so I don't even know how many I'm going to need yet. Fair. Let's, let's do a sub-network. I think this is the perfect time for a sub-network. Um, so, formation plane. Done. Maybe, maybe multiple, but we'll start with one. Annihilation plane. Done. Uh, we need... Oh, hi, Sparkle. Did I not say hi to Sparkle? Hi, Sparkle! I was lost in my thoughts. And then... I missed the entirety of Paige talking about nimbleness. You have to constantly hold right-click to move around in combat stance to get your nimbleness going. Oh, God. That's what we call put a book on it. Um... Just drop something heavy on your right mouse button and then like walk into a wall or something. Oh. Took the multiple IRL weeks 
of AFK walking into a wall to max the skill. Oh dear god. That's, that's no bueno. That's no bueno in several regards. And is there a book for that? Learn how to walk like a ninja. Alright, so we got formation plane, we got annihilation plane. I need... I need... One of these. We have energy acceptors in the network. We do not. Eh, I probably don't need an energy acceptor. I could probably do that a different way, but that's fine. Um... And do this way. Energy acceptor is worthless. I don't need it. Um, we need an interface. Possibly two. We need some cables. Uh, you know, I like I like the Fluix cables better. We'll use those. Um, and actually, colored would probably be a good idea. Do we have purple? I don't have purple. Can we make purple? Can we make red? We have flowers. We have flowers in the network. books only boosts you can get are whatever you make into your character at the start oh good lord yeah I don't like it I don't like the one that takes hours to train in real life that just that's just crazy talk uh, okay, so let's see. Is an interface going to be enough? Or am I going to need an... Let's do import-export bus. I think that'll be easier. Let's do import bus. Export bus. Actually, you know, we're, we're going to try it both ways. We're going to try it with an export or an interface first because I know that there's a way, and I'm just not, I'm not that great with ME sub networks because I typically don't bother. But I know that there is a way to hook up an interface to the main network and like a storage bus on the on the on the sub network, and they like connect and intermingle with each other. But in terms of this one, I do need. I need items to be freshly put into the network. So if we did an interface in the primary network pointed at a box, it'll dump all the stuff to get converted into the box. And that box can be imported into the network where the formation plane will be the, the storage point, which will then form the items out into the world. Yeah, okay. Uh, uh, thinking, thinking, it's hard. I don't have any crates. I have crates. I'll need to make more, but still. Um, that is too big of a crate for this purpose. I'll make another crate. I should automate making crates. Why don't I have this automated? What the hell is wrong with me? All right, we're doing an automation. Hang on. Right, and this one is going to be allowing or dick substitutions. So that's this piece. And then we need this piece. And then we need this piece. 
For your uh, metal bending, were you planning on doing any of the double plates? Plates, double plates, rods, long rods, springs, small springs, gears, small gears, rotors, round. There's an item called a round. Those are also my plans. Do you already have those no. set up? Not okay. yet. Never mind then. Um, double plates are easy to set up because those can use the same the same um, regular plate setup. Well, the circuit's got to be a two. Otherwise, you make foil. Oh, right, right, right. Yep, you're right. Um, then no, I don't have to set up at all. Okay. Never mind. You want I should do that? At least one, so I can get double steel plates. <laughs> can do. I mean, I guess it doesn't, as long as one machine is there, and then we can just throw patterns for whatever I might need in the, into it. Yeah. But yeah. I forgot to put these in the thing. <laughs> at least let's one. Let's put them in the thing. Uh, let's do... Over here. That's the sign. Doot. Da doot. I'm also thinking doot. one of the, like... Later, I might upgrade the clean room to EV instead of HV and MV, right? Like it is now. Probably a good idea. Yeah. I think more of the, like, the next tier of circuit and stuff has to be done in EV in a clean room, which we can't do yet. So I might as well just right. do that. How's it going, Sparkle? How you doing? Uh, metal bender. Bender. Advanced bend. Advanced bend. Circuit in my pocket already. Two. Double plates. Double plates. Metal bender. Ingots. Done. Okay. So then... You said you want, uh... Steel? Uh, yeah, at first. Yeah, the double steel plates. We'll also probably want... Titanium, but like... Once once the it's set up, I can just run over there and throw a pattern in for anything else that I need. Yeah, the only thing about making the patterns is to make sure that you remove the circuit from the, the circuit, pattern requirement, yep. yeah. Yeah, uh, earlier I had tossed in a couple of rest or patterns already, I think into the regular plates machine. Okay. Uh, yeah, I did. Yeah, I see a handful in there, yep. Yeah, I put I added a few more. Uh, steel and titanium double plates are in and ready to go. Nice, thanks. Oh wait, no, hang on. I forgot. I don't. I don't have the ins and outs on this line set up yet. Oh, fair enough. Now let's do that. Down. So down. So we have. Okay, let's 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 go over my colors here. We have red and green on the bottom. We have blue and purple on the underside of this one, and we have pink and uh, I think it's cyan there. So we need new colors here. We can do black and white. No, because, eh, hmm, hmm. What do we want? We could do, yeah, we've got cyan. We could do yellow and orange. Meow. Yellow and orange. Let's do yellow and orange. Uh, and you are going to be an extract. And you are going to be an insert. You are going to be an insert on orange and extract on yellow. Okay. And extract. All right, now it's set up. If you wanna, if you wanna call a job and make sure it all works. Sure. Let's see. Let's 
It's doing the do. It's not doing the do fast, but it's doing the do. Well, they should be, what, a second and a half each? Something like that. Yeah, let me look. Yeah, it's, it's listed as one second, but there's probably a fraction in there. Yeah, because the MV is six seconds. Yeah. So that means HV would be three, and then EV is 1.5. How many are you going to need? Because I can crank out a, a whole line of these things really quick if we need to. Oh, no, it's it's fine. I, I was able to craft all that I needed, but at least for now. Okay. So, yeah, this will be fine. Well, okay. Now I need to figure out where I'm going to do the atomic reconstructor automation. Hmm. I'm going to go with the usual line of it's temporary and put it somewhere. I love temporary solutions. It's great. Okay. So. This is going to go somewhere. Since I keep falling down here, it's going to go down here. And I'm going to put it right in here. Right here. Um, I do need a quick line down here. Uh, oh. Oh. Interesting. I just realized having having these wires right over my entrance makes it so I can't easily run a line down to the floor below. So I'm going to have to run a line down to the floor below through the side here. Ooh, my desire to design in one specific floor did not let me think vertical. Oh no. Oh no. I could probably come from down here, but that would just be kind of weird. Could also come from here cabled down. Let's do let's do here for now. Temporary. It's temporary. Okay. So this is what we got. Um and we need, we need a box. Right, I'm gonna use my new automation. Also, I got tired of making all the crates by hand, so I automated them. That works. All right, so we need, we need a box. Box. Perfect. Um, and then we need to export into said box. And this export into said box can have a crafting card. And then we also need a sub network like a so. Ooh, I might need to do this with a regular old cable first. Regular old cable first, then sub network. Okay, this this isn't technically sub network. This is still technically part of the main network, but the purple still helps identify. Um, all right, so that that segregates out the um, the network. Um, I might. Oh, I need to do an interface here. What the hell am I doing? I'm being dumb. I'm being dumb. And I might need to move that over a little bit, but we'll see. So you go there. Down. So 
Okay, then. so I know there's a way to do this. I don't know how. Yeah. I mean, say I'm in the ME system. You're in the and... ME system. Thank you. You did very well. Yeah. And like, I want to make a stack of something. And I know you can shift click it to make the stack. But that puts it immediately into my inventory. How do I immediately put it in back into the ME system? Are you talking about auto crafting? No, like pot, like crafting out of my pocket, but using like the nine by nine or the three by three grid oh. in the crafting terminal. Oh, you know, so like if you take the rubber wood to make planks, right? You put the one into the yeah. You can there's there's a key combination. I know shift left click puts it into your hand or into your inventory a stack at a time. Right. But there's a way to put it into the ME network a stack at a time instead. Uh, then you're a step ahead of me because I was never aware of that and I've always been putting it into my inventory and then back up in the network. Shoot. Shift down and okay. uh, shift shift click it down in my inventory and then shift click it back up into the network. That's how I've always been doing it. Well. So good mm. luck. Okay. Um, no, Paige, you're going crazy. You did not hear a kitty meow for once. Um, I don't know what I don't know what you heard, but it was not a cat. There is no cat around. Maybe Blade's listening and he knows. Hey, Blade, do you know? Okay, played. So, um, the the conundrum is if we were to take this and attempt to craft. So I'm just using conductive iron ingot, for example. Shift click, nuggets goes into my pocket, and then I would typically shift click that back up into the network, just for crafting purposes. So how do you instead shift click this straight into the network rather than down into your inventory? Is it like control click? Nope. Is it shift right? Nope, that doesn't do it. Is it control shift click? Nope, that doesn't do it. Space click? Oops. I think it's, uh, hmm. Don't do space click, by the way. <laughs> Noted. <laughs> uh, space click um, essentially crafted all possible ingots into nuggets back into the network. So that was 9,000 conductive iron ingots into 83,000 conductive iron nuggets back into the network. Thankfully, there's a drawer for that, so it fixed itself quickly. Woof that. <laughs> but that's one way. If you, sh if you space click, it uh, auto crafts that back up into the network. If you just want to happen to create all of a thing. Blade says he doesn't know how. So, um, double shift. Okay, so this. Um, this. This is going to have recipes. I need that in there, and we might, might as well just do those. This is going to have recipes, and in here, the recipes are going to be all of the stuff that converts uh, in an atomic disassembler. Uh, Alright. Minor problem with the atomic disassembler. Huh? Don't walk around with your uh, magnet on. I'm in the chicken building. I'm just saying, future purposes, as long as this thing is automated and running, don't walk around with your magnet on or you're gonna get stuff in your pocket and you're gonna mess up the automation job. I I just thought about that before I finished the automation, thankfully. Got it. Unless, let me, let me do a search. I'm going to rely on the book. Atomic disassembler. Uh, here. Lasers. Lasers. Okay, that doesn't, that doesn't help. Um, Atomic disassembler. No. I'm looking for an option for an atomic disassembler internal machine. 
Simulation supercomputer. I feel like that might be a little bit late, later in the game. Um, Deep Mob Evolution, Loot Fabricator. This has nothing to do with what I was looking for. Okay, fair enough. So you, you gotta shift click back in your network though? Okay. Yeah, I. he claims there's a way. I've never known of a way. I've always shifted into my inventory and then back up in the network. So it's always a two-step process. Um, but I get what he's asking for and I get why. And it's a great friggin' idea. If it works. Uh, am, I, am I good to steal the atomic disassembler from down here? So I don't have to make a new one. Yep. Okay. Well, that's clean. We now have some aesthetic quartz on the ground as decorative elements. Sure, why not? Alright, so. Uh, I'm going to need power. Because power is important. Yeah, power. Power good. Alright, so we are going to need the atomic disassembler. And we're going to put that, I don't know, let's say right... There. Let's say right there. Um, I think you might be misremembering, Blade. Uh, the... Farming station has always used the hoe to plant, regardless of what it's planting. It's a little silly, because, yeah, you wouldn't typically hoe up a tree or whatever, but, yeah, it's always done that as far as I can recall. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's, let's do... Because we're going to need a space... Let's do this space. Nope. Uh, and these actually might not be necessary, so let's take those back. But this is gonna need to go up a floor. So, I mean, hell, let's just put that there. I could do it down on the ground, but I need to have my uh, formation plane under here. So let's grab this. Cable, cable, cable. Uh, we are also going to need cable and cable, cable. There we go. Uh, and that means that this needs to be the quartz. Right there. So that remains a separate network. Really wish I could place that normally. Alright, so you are going to be power. Power. Good, no laser. So you are currently on pulse. Um, I think I need to figure out a redstone situation for that. We'll figure it out. Um, and this might be a little bit cramped for what I'm attempting to do, but let's do annihilation plane right there. And this annihilation plane is just going to uh, eat all of the things. Um, I thought that there was a filter on the annihilation plane. Was there not? Am I misremembering? Identity annihilation plane. Ah, that's the one that's what I need. Wait, little someone give me give me that back. Give me that back. 
they must have updated it because the annihilation plane used to have a filter just built into it but it looks like they've got two different variants now Fluix pearl identity annihilation plane phone shut the hell up stop it what are you doing phone it's best not be important all right it was kind of important um, okay, so uh, ent Identity Annihilation Plane. Flop. That... doesn't appear to have configuration. But, but... But, but... Hmm... Hmm. In that case, the I, the annihilation plane is going to act kind of like an import, so it will only import when there's a space for it. I'm trying to think of how to do this, because if it's going to just import whatevs then we're going to have to find a way to filter both the inputs and the outputs without um, the plane being able to do it. Uh, let's see. How does the identity annihilation plane work? Go in the Googles. Oh. It's not at all what I thought it was. It's a silk touch plane. Instead of breaking the blocks, it takes the block itself, which is irrelevant in my case. Um, cool. That's fine. So we're going to need to filter anyway, and I think the best way to do that would be through a drawer setup, maybe? Uh, hmm. Huh. Huh. There's, there's thoughts involved in this one. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking, Blade. Um, so we may end up with two sub networks. Maybe? I know there's an easier way to do this, but my brain is not working that way. Um, my brain is working the way of import from box, which is going to receive all of the, the components from the expansion or the, the crafting patterns. Box is going to receive, say for example, coal, which is what we're aiming for. Box receives coal import into network which is going to store in the formation plane and uh, let's put down the formation plane formation plane and this is the one that has you know crafting options but we don't need to so formation plane and we, we might need to set up specifically so if we set it up to coal block for example formation plane is only going to put coal block here so that the formation plane does not uh, eh, I guess it doesn't matter either way probably have to do item drop so formation plane drops item and it will only drop coal block and then down here the annihilation plane is going to pick up whatever which is why we have to filter it this thing's going to zap it into the void crystal I had to think about which one it is um, and the void crystal will float here forever until the annihilation plane has somewhere to put it and that's where we can't hook it up back up to this this box or the interface because it's just going to take the block of the block of coal immediately and store it back in the network because there's a place for it so we need to filter that out and separate it 
the only way I can think to do that is a separate sub-network that stores all of the export components. Unless you can think of a better way to do it, Blade. I'm, I'm having a hard time. Enjoy your lurking demos. It's, it is the crazy pack, Knight. How you doing? How have you been enjoying the crazy pack so far? Yeah, but Blade, wasn't there a way to do it in a single sub-network? Am I thinking too hard about this? Should I be just doing a, like a filtered, a filtered pair of, um, ME drives instead? Can't you, can't you do that? I'm pretty sure. Is that even a thing anymore? Because there, there was, yeah, there's the... Uh, not the spatial I.O. port, but the the configurator. Not the I.O. port. There, there, there was a configuration doodad. I know, I know. I'm in the same place tonight. It's been way too long, and all the stuff that I'm remembering is either versions out of date or just wrong, because I can't remember anything. Um, but I'm not seeing the the configuration block, the one that would let you configure what's stored in a chip. But I know it's possible because they mentioned it in the fluid um, portion of the book. The annihilation plane does not have filters. Um, it's just going to annihilate whatever it can. Yeah, partitioned. But it, it it's not here. I'm so confused because the book itself mentions specifically partitioning a fluid cell, uh, fluid cell to store one fluid type. Cell workbench. Yes. I don't have a trapped chest. Make me chest. Uh make make me box doesn't need a trap chest okay so cell workbench if i did a an me chest where's our me chest oh we had to use it to make the drawers or the drives okay <laughs> nice page cell workbench okay so the The cell would be configured to only store the finalized components. And that lets us configure and filter on a single thing. And then that cell, or that ME chest itself, would have to be imported back into the network. Does that even work? Hold up. Can you import? Hmm. Hmm. Hang on. Uh, cell, cell workbench. We need a cell. We need a cell. Drive. Nope. Uh, storage cell. Storage cell. We need one of these. Yes, please. And then we need. I, I think we literally just need a 1k, but let's do a 4k just cuz. Okay, so that goes in there, and then we can do... Um, nope. Um, actually additions. So, Reconstructor. We're going to do all these in block form. <laughs> oh, hang on. 
So if we did all these in block form, I'm thinking through the process of converting those because we can typically store these blocks in the drawers and get the both the block and the single item components available in the network at the same time. But if someone says, you know, I want, um, I want, you know, 10 Restonia crystal as a craft, we would need to do some creative fiddling to get the jobs to know that they need to send a block of redstone to make Restonia block to then get crystals out of it. Um, the alternative to that being set up the crafting recipes that block equals crystals or crystals equals block rather than using the drawer conversion method. Um, so I, I guess there's an option for that. It's just so much more clean to have the drawers do all the conversion for you. Boo. Boo urns. All right, well, let's let's do all of these things because we're going to we're going to need every single one of these, I think. And maybe we just set it up to do both the the block and the single item, maybe? I don't know. But let's let's set up the cell workbench. So Restonia Palace. Oh, you can shift click. Okay. Doot da doot. And then those are the empowered versions. And then we can uh, doot, 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 and doot. So I think that's all of the conversions. I think. Dicks. All right literally just told it to clear the drive and didn't even think about it. Okay, configure. It did the thing. All right, so now I need a, um, a storage chest. Come back to bite me that I never made the pures. I never automated the pures and it's coming back to bite me. All right, I need to go make a handful of pure things. Your Certus and Fluix. Oh, you guys are gonna go solar? All right. Okay, so. I should theoretically be able to put that there. And that ME chest with this drive in it. Oh my dear God. Oh. Uh. 
I think that texture's broken. That texture's broken. <laughs> Great, you broke it. Okay, so that chest is configured to only store the final components after the unzapping. Uh, and I might need the regular Annihilation Plane, but we'll see if it works without. Um, and then this needs to be all of the starting components. Uh, so uh, all, 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 of the, all of the starting components. So we need Redstone, Lapis, Diamond, Coal. Redstone, Lapis, Diamond, Coal, Emerald, Iron. Redstone. Lapis. Diamond. Uh, coal. Coal. Uh, emerald. Iron. And then we also need to do the um, the non-block version. It'd be easier if I just search for these. Redstone, lapis, diamond, coal, emerald, iron. Okay. So now in the formation plane at the top here, we are only going to store the first versions. The for, uh, formation plane, first versions. Annihilation plane cannot be filtered, so we've got the box set to store all of the final forms. And that is hooked up to this little sub network here. Stop. Stop. All right. And then we need to put my little glass down. Now we have this little bitty box that all the shit pops into. And then the final step will be... You there. You there. Ah, uh, ooh. Uh, uh, mm. Export boss. There there. Okay. So that then hooks the export bus up to the sub network. And the export bus is going to be set to export uh, ooh. Interesting. The annihilation plane is the storage point, so there shouldn't ever be a point when these items are stored in the network. Let's uh, crank that up just in case. So they shouldn't ever be able to export. They should always be attempted to store in this formation plane first. And then the export bus should only have access to what's in this chest. Theoretically. But we're going to need to test that out. So I need, I need some, uh, I need some doodads. I need some, uh, crafting things. I also need to figure out my redstone. Uh, I think I can do that with a... Uh, conduit. I think I can set that up to pulse. What other modes do we have, by the by? Redstone torch. real slow. Uh, I think pulsing would be better. Yeah, it works a lot faster on a pulse. Um, so if I did a redstone conduit, I think we can get that to pulse. Oh, I th we can do that without that, can't we? 
No? Yeah? No. Yeah. We need a filter upgrade, which I think we can do here. Timer. There we go. Redstone timer filter. Actually, we have some because he used those before for automation. So we just slap a slap a right there and set your filter to, I don't know, two for now. You doing the thing? This could go in here because uh, it's got to have the output. But maybe I'm misunderstanding how this works. Ah, oh, ah, two milliseconds. Got it. Okay. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> um, I wonder if we have an item detector. Do we have an item detector? Atmo detector, block update detector, entity detector perhaps. Item detector for Greg Tech, which is unfortunate because I'm pretty sure that's just pipe detector, but that's fine. Um, I don't necessarily know how to to trigger this so maybe that's a thing that we need to figure out but let's let's turn that to a, a better time so this is ticks so 20 ticks is one second so that should be yeah did you know Rarely. If you have the drawer key in your offhand and then you place a drawer, it auto locks it. Ooh, that's nice to know. Did you also know that that will all occasionally crash your game? That is also good to know. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Not every time, but sometimes. Interesting. I wonder what the trigger is on that. Okay, so now it's time to set patterns. We need patterns for these things. Uh, so let's do the patterns. Oops, pattern. I need fewer items in my inventory. Okay, so pattern. We might want to adjust this at some point to not include the small items. I just want to make sure that we're covered for the moment. Uh, we might want to do just blocks only and then tell the network how to craft the blocks into the smaller items. Um, just so that the laser isn't going off for friggin' ever. And it's a little bit more efficient at it. But for right now, this will do. And it's easy to come in and remove those patterns if needed. So, we go down here. Ow my face pattern 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 okay I believe I'm set up if you want to attempt to uh, 
craft either the void crystal or whatever else from the uh, the zappy do. All right, let's try 32 of them. All right. I made a critical error. I was gonna say, nothing's happening. Yep, critical error. Don't worry about it. Okay. My bad, I'll fix it in a second. Alright, okay. I didn't do it! I did it. <laughs> I should've, I should've known when I didn't, uh, when I didn't have the import bus attached. <laughs> when I put that back in the network and it wasn't used. It's fine, it's fine. I don't think the inhalation plane is doing what it's supposed to do. Oh, it is. It just took a long time. Uh, no night, actually. That should be done now. You should have 32 of them in the network. No, I canceled the craft while you're fiddling with it. Oh, okay. Try again. Well, uh, yeah. Um... So yeah, on the smart cables, they still show the channels, but it's really broken. They don't update correctly. Um, they're inconsistent in how they count the channels. We've had mysterious channels showing I'm up. so far yet underwhelmed. And they don't, they, they, I don't know. They're just mysterious extra channels. What, what do you mean underwhelmed? It did the thing. They're not in the network. Because I'm smart. This is why we test. This is why we test. Okay, well that, that needs to be adjusted because that's slow as balls. Um, now they're showing cards. up slowly. Good, good. Less slowly. Oh. Less slowly. All right, let me try it one more time. So I need to automate this part. I need to automate the detection of items or the detection of something to trigger that to zap right. only when zapping is necessary. All right, so I'm going to adjust it a little bit. Sure. Um, I'm going to adjust it, I think, to only uh, zap the blocks and then just auto craft the items from the blocks. Oh, only, okay, so it makes like nine at a time. Yeah, only okay. because I'm, I'm having a hard time with the zapping aspect. Um, That's fair. Do you know of a way to detect floating items on the ground? Uh, Does anyone out there know? Uh, no. Okay. Like, a, like an entity detector or something? Yeah. There is one from Draconic, but we're not quite at the Draconic level yet. Ah, uh, well. It, eh, hmm. No, no, we're not at that level yet. It requires tungsten carbide and draconium ingots plus an empowered palace crystal. So, no. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, we not can't right do the, uh, the draconium ingots yet. Uh, observer. Maybe? Let's find out. Observer. What do you observe? What do you do? No. Damn. It's worth a try. So yeah, my, my issue right now is figuring out how to get the atomic reconstructor to only zap when zapping is needed. 
I can get it on a timer, no problem. But I can't seem to get it to only you, go off when there's stuff floating in there. Can you convincingly or uh, reliably get the entities to drop onto a pressure plate? Yes. That would then trigger the laser? I could test that out. Yeah, let me give that a shot. Okay. I'll put a redstone signal when a craft is requested. Um, how do? Because um, we've got level emitters. We've got toggle buses. But I, I'm not aware of any item that generates redstone signal on a craft request, unless unless a level emitter can do that. Maybe, maybe it can. Let's let's see if it has the option. So level emitter, level type item or energy. No, that does not appear to be a thing unless unless a crafting card goes in there. So let me let me try that crafting card. Emit redstone when all item is crafting. Okay. Um, the only challenge to this is you only have one item at a time, so I would need an array of level emitters, which wouldn't be awful. It would certainly be an option. Yeah, let's let's do some adjusting. Um, let's try the pressure plate option. So this goes here. This goes in the pocket. That goes there. Uh, this is unnecessary. This is unnecessary. Uh, I need a pressure plate of whatever variety. Um, I think wooden is probably the best maybe stone I think gold does not uh, yeah so gold is light weight is pr is heavy so weight I don't think picks up item drops I think gold might let's do stone though I think I also need that that for the moment. So the only thing I don't know is if the formation plane can do that. I've only ever used them with the formation plane on the bottom, but if this works, then great. Uh, so let's put down a block. I don't particularly care which. So I can have a pressure plate there, and you would be set to uh, deactivation mode, I think. We need it opposite. We need a we need an inversion signal there, because this uh, doesn't work. <laughs> Hang on. All right, stone does not get triggered by an item. Good to know. <laughs> uh, so then I need wood. Yeah, wood, wood gets triggered with that. So as long as there's an item there, there's no zap. So I need an inversion. Which means I might need to adjust the spacing on this. Alright, let's see. Oh, that doesn't work. <laughs> my, my vanilla redstone knowledge is next to nothing, so... This is a little bit different than I was expecting. All right, uh, let me do a quick request, though. Let me request like five or six or eight, whatever.
Why you no? Why you no import? Why you, why you no import? Why you no import? What happened? Why are you suddenly no longer importing? You were importing before? Was it because of this? What? What happened? <laughs> what, ha what happened? The import bus was importing the coal from here to store into the formation plane, which I did not change. It is still set exactly it was before, and it was never broken. But it is no longer importing the coal to the formation plane. Uh, what, what did I do? What happened? The only thing I changed was moving this annihilation plane to the side, and it suddenly will not work. So confused. Uh, was it, was it the speed cards? It definitely wasn't the speed cards. Uh, the speed cards were over here. Okay, um, all right. Also, I can't, I can't rely on the export bus either because uh, the acceleration card to make it go fast enough means I can only filter one item. If I put in another capacity card, which I don't know if I have, I do not. each level of capacity card expands out more slots. So I guess I could do two and that, and then we would have enough filtering for these six items. Because without one capacity card, there's only five, so I'd need two. Or two export buses, which is also possible, I suppose. I know there's a cleaner way to do this whole thing. I'm pretty sure I've done it before, but remembering how is difficult. Um, but I don't know why the import bus stopped working. And I am confused on that. Let me kill the annihilation plane and see if that's something. Oh, that's not something. I am thoroughly confused. Everything seems fine.
Anyone have any ideas? Because I apparently have broken something. Let me kill these things though. I'm also trying to figure out how I can how I can clean this process up a little bit. Just do a test here. Level emit when void crystal is crafting. I'm gonna put in the crafting card for that. And it's just void crystal is the filter. So if we schedule a job for void crystal, uh, I think we actually have a job for void crystal. So we cancel that. You are set to level emit while an item is crafting. Ah, because it's on the wrong network. That's why. There is no item crafting from this network. Uh, this would be from here then. <laughs> nope. And we might need to do another redstone thing, but let's make sure it actually emits. So do you, do you, when crafting. Tis crafting, okay. Um, and then that. Let me get another Redstone conduit to go there to listen to that. All right, input signal color green, and that's going to pulse. much with these so this might be a thing that I'm just not as familiar with input so input signal color here it's got a solid signal I don't think we have a way to trigger the redstone timer based on the incoming signal I think it's just a timer so that's not gonna help too terribly much um, I don't see an option for a pulser or anything like that. So instead, it would set you to deactivate. And then we would set this to like a knot or something. What? So you're you're on with that signal, which is actually exactly what we wanted. It's not happening on the timer though, it's just going its slow self, which I think is fine. Oh dear Paige, yeah I think you should not rely on that skill. I don't think you want to spend weeks leveling up that skill only to die the next day and be all real frustrated about it. I don't, I don't think that that's going to help your mentality at all. All right, so level emitter is a thing, but it's a painful thing because we'd have to set up, what is it, six level emitters for these? Which I guess is a thing we can do. But 
uh, before I even think about doing that level emitter setup, I need to figure out why this isn't working. Why are you no longer importing into the formation plane that you should be importing to? Did what happened? Alright, well you you get to stop. You just you just get to stop. You stop. Um so we've got formation plane. High priority, which is a storage point for things like coal. Uh, coal is set up. The item coal is here. It's in the box. It should be importing into the network at whatever speed it can. Um, and it is on the same network. It is an online device. It's it's triggered as online. Uh, the annihilation plane is is here. It's doing its thing. This storage cell is partitioned. Include precise. It has nothing in it. That part's not working. All right, that that part's working as expected. It's not getting the coal or whatever. Um, it is segregated off into its own network, both here and here. So it is not attached. Huh. I, f I feel like I feel like something went horribly wrong, and I don't know what. Yes, page, but that's so much time and effort dedicated to leveling up a skill for a character that could die at any moment. Which you've done several times and had to restart. Just saying. Not sure how much effort it's worth actually doing all that. Love, hate it. Wonderful. All right. Um, I wish I knew what was going on here. But let's remove all the extraneous nonsense. And that will be that and that. All of the things in my pocket. Extraneous nonsense. Uh, let's remove this for the moment. And that. And hell, let's remove that. Something has gone horribly wrong. Oh, I know what's gone horribly wrong. That's gone horribly wrong. Yeah, that. Because that counts as a block that's filled. Cool. All right, so that means that I'm going to readjust all of this. Maybe that, now we're gonna leave you. We're gonna break you. We're gonna go put you down a layer. Yep, so we need to drop from a block higher and we need to be a block back. Because I need room to do a redstone signal. Just 
just making sure that it doesn't trigger. Um, and then this export can happen there. I might need to figure out a different option for the export, but for right now, that's going to be my option. Uh, so let's back to testing you. Capacity. Speed. See, it's, sometimes it's the littlest changes. Like, I didn't even consider the idea that putting down the pressure plate was filling up that entire block space. So it would never drop an item because there was nowhere to drop the item. And that was more than enough to break the entire process and my brain. Um, so then we need this. And, and, and more of those. Give me more of those, please. So you are going to be that. And you are going to be a redstone signal. Let's put you on purple, because why the hell not? Uh, and you, I think it's technically just an output signal, and you are my purple input signal. Yep. And we need an inversion, so we need a knot. Really? Pa paper. We no longer can craft paper. Yeah, weird. Used to be, if you didn't have the items, it would show blue where you could then middle click and craft from right here, but that wasn't working. Interesting. All right, so we need we need a knot. Pretty sure, pretty sure we need a knot. Because uh, you are going to be on deactivation and you are going to be on a knot yeah yeah okay so now we're going to formate we're going to formate Item imports, zappy, perfect. Uh, and then, oops. We need import through annihilation plane, like so, which goes into here. And then we need to export from there, like so. Good, good. Now we just need to fill it all with glass so it doesn't go all over the damn place. Uh, this part's going to be a little bit funky looking, but it'll be fine. Uh, you will be glass. You will be glass. And you will be glass. It's not the perfect spot because of this thing. Um, this space that's needed here. Uh, if I really need to, I can fill that space with something like a, a cover or something like that, just to make sure that nothing's going to fall out. Um, but I'm pretty sure you can't laser through glass, but we'll find out. Let's uh, request another, another bit and bob. We request a void crystal. It goes on. It pizzappies through the glass, okay. Formation plane, however, did not take it. Or annihilation plane did not take it. Because I think it bounced just outside of its range. Ooh, that's a problem. Did that count as completing? It did. So that's... You wouldn't happen to have any of the uh, rotor extractors set up, do you? Or the rotor extruders? Uh, not yet, no. Okay.
So we might do this a different way, um, mainly because that annihilation plane is not going to cooperate with all of the items that are dropped. Um, we're gonna we're gonna run into a problem. So. Vacuum chest. Vacuum chest. We're just going to do it this way. Because that's just not going to cooperate. So vacuum chest can go here. And uh, we can do an item filter for that. And I am going to go ahead and set this up just for, uh, just for, just for this purposes is so red, blue, light blue. I need an advanced item filter because there's not enough freaking filter spots in here. Other blue, black, green, white. And these are going to be whitelist only. And you can be a lower range. Glass, 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 glass. Uh, and then we can do a We don't even need this anymore. Yep. So I may have been overthinking it. I was trying really too hard to do the proper method. Formation annihilation. Because uh, that's the same method that you would do in a vanilla AE2. Uh, to do things like the dropping of the um, redstone quartz and quartz to make the flux crystal. Those need to be dropped into a, a thing of water. So the vanilla method to do that is formation and annihilation planes through a subnetwork. And I was trying really hard to do that, what I would consider the intended method. But we have things like vacuum chests, and uh, it's a whole hell of a lot easier. So we're going to simplify this. You can go, you can go, all this crap can go, that can go, that can go. Okay, so all we need is an import and an export, I think. Item conduit, even better. Uh, so we're going to kill this, because that's just going to go over here instead to, to clean it up a little bit. And this is the... Uh, import bus to make sure that it all comes into the network or into the the thingy. Acceleration cards, cable, cable, cable. Ah, let me up. Okay, and then just item conduits. Um, network ran out of power. No, it didn't. My my wireless thingy ran out of power. Okay. <laughs> Go charge your flux capacitor. How is my flux capacitor out of power? Have I really been using my terminal that much? Uh, apparently. Jesus. Very weird. Unless you have it set to like charge everything and it may have charged like the energy converters that you pick up here and there. Maybe? I know. So in the reactor room, there's a four by four capacitor bank and I very rapidly drained my flux capacitor by having those in my inventory. So. Yeah, I don't think I've ever put anything like that in my inventory. I only have my magnet, which 
admittedly is on all the time, and my crafting terminal, which I use frequently. Yeah, but the magnet only takes like almost nothing, I think. Yeah. I don't know. Either way, apparently yeah. I ran out of freaking power. I was gonna say there's no way the network ran out of power. It's my default when it says no power. It's to assume the network ran out of power because I've killed the network so many times. Yeah, well, the network now has a 550 million RF capacitor bank plugged into it, which is directly hooked into all those dynamos and a nuclear reactor. So. Oh, I see. Okay. <laughs> so it just a little bit of extra of power. power. Yeah. Well, all right then. All right. Um, let me finish this automation because uh, I, I feel like we need to. So let's do... patterns all right and then we need palace crystal and then we need void crystal and then uh, the diamantine crystal And then Emeraldic Crystal. And then the Inori Crystal. Because I'm pretty positive we need all these things in some form or another at some point, so might as well just do the whole thing. Uh, and then these can go in, in anywhere, really. Doesn't particularly matter where. Oh, those are nothings. Nothings, you say. Those will need to get renamed just so they make more sense. Uh, but these can go here. All right. And then... Go back down here. Oop, that, it, beep, that, beep. There we go. Go down here. We have this already set for just the blocks. Um, this we can remove these patterns and I'll clear out those patterns in a second here so it should be more streamlined now all I need are the uh, item conduits of which we have none You can just always be an extract and you can always be an insert so that anything that gets picked up by the void chest which is a range two so it should be able to pick up that i might pop it to three just in case um okay a little bit cleaner a little bit cleaner let's let's test it out let's request a stack of void missing blocks of coal we don't have coal stored in block form Interesting. We're gonna have to change that. We're gonna have to change that a lot. That's gonna have to go into a drawer. I thought we had coal in a drawer already, but it, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll just do it this way. Uh, and then we do void. Make me a, a stack of that, please. I know! I, the only thing that I can justify is that I probably wasn't the one to generate the coal. So Pine probably just stored it as normal. Nah. Nah. Yeah. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> I know you did, Blade. Uh, so we've got we got uh, 30, 78. I did not check beforehand. So we should be over 400 with this job. As soon as the zap happens, they immediately get sucked up. And we have 450. Perfect. Alright. It is done, finally. 
Your whole machine room? No. Oh. The uh, atomic reconstructor automation. Oh, nice. Um, the only thing that's missing uh, is the uh, coal, for whatever reason, is not stored in block form in our network, which means we don't have it in a drawer. And I'm right. baffled we don't have it in a drawer, because we need it in a drawer. Well, go ahead, but good luck, because we have 256 stacks of coal. Ah, it's fine. All right. It's fine. You can deal with that. I'm going to finish trying to set up this signal, okay. which is becoming one hell of a production, as you might imagine. I, I could imagine, yes. I need 17 machines to make it. Well? That, yeah, to make one pile of dust. <laughs> I, sounds That's normal it. to me. Alright. Uh, okay. Compacting drawer. Lop. Item conduit. Filter. Uh, I need a filter. Filter. Coal. Um, fil filter. Coal. There we go. Uh, extract. Always with all of the speed you can muster. I think I might need a stack of coal to start it up. Oh, and you need to be inserted. Derp. <laughs> Only 17 for this pack? It's a bargain! Exactly! Alright, so we let that sit for a little bit. I feel like I probably should remove that drawer from the uh, from the wall while we do this, so we don't get more coal coming in. Because I don't know what's generating coal currently. <sighs> Let's do it. Yeah, we're generating coal. Okay. Um. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me take care of this quick. generating coal uh, we are not generating coal perfect okay so that means that whatever we have generating coal is set up through this conduit and it's gonna back up wherever it's generating until this is done um, so let me let me see about cleaning out the rest of my inventory That is the extent of my inventory I can clean at the moment. Uh, I don't think I need acceleration cards anymore. Extraction speeds are fine. Bag, card, tools, tools. Tools, box, wires. Okay. All right. So this is happening, uh, and we can we can speed that up a little bit. Ah. Ah. 
Ah. We need an upgrade. Upgrades. Lots of upgrades. technically faster for me to do it this way. Done. Alright. We can go... Need new tape. Take you and you. Put you back there. Oh, fuck. Got to unlock that and remove the, the coal. It's fine. All right, so let's take you. Let's put you on the wall somewhere. Uh, sure, right there. And I need the key. We're gonna unlock a you. Take you out. Relock a you. Tape. Break. Howdy, Bama Rebel. No worries at all. I appreciate you lurking, and I appreciate you being here. Alright, so we've got redstone block. We've got lapis block. We've got um, diamond block. We've got emerald block. Uh, we got we got iron block. And now we have coal block. We have all the recipes to convert. <laughs> But we're good. Okay, I have I have solved my mini problem, and now the uh, atomic reconstructor is 100% automated uh, for any of the items that can be atomically reconstructed. Nice. You want you want to see the thing? Yeah, one sec. Meanwhile, I need extruders and lots of them. I need extruders. Lots of them. So we are going to need titanium fluid pipe for the extruders. Alright. Um, and, and pistons. Yeah, Why? where are you at? Uh, machine room. Uh-huh. And then downstairs. So, this little doodad. Um, that is a contraption. This is like the fourth iteration of it. I attempted to do it what, through the original, like, intended vanilla AE2 method, which is a formation plane and an annihilation plane. Mm -hmm. But it was, being, it was being so damn finicky that I gave up on that. Um, so we've got a partial. So we've got the annihilation or the, the formation plane at the top, which is filtered to just dump in the blocks of the source items, so redstone, coal block, etc. So that when those come into the network via this box through the crafting recipes from the primary network, the coal gets dumped from the recipe into this interface, into this box imported into the network which automatically gets stored in the formation plane because that counts as a storage place uh -huh. which then drops the items into the world onto the platform which triggers the doodad to start zapping and then the uh, vacuum chest is filtered to suck up only the final zapped items which then you gets one. conduit yeah. back what which one sand or soul sand Oh, I totally forgot about soul sand. I did not read every single recipe, but that's easy to add. It is. Nice. This looks great. Thanks. Uh, I'm running into a little hiccup. Okay. On my system. Okay. And that revolves around the fact that, for whatever reason, Red Coal's got NBT data. Red Coal has NBT data? 
Yeah. So whoever places the resonator, if you want it to, if you want another machine to call it or to pull it, pull it in somewhere, uh, whoever set that resonator has to also pick up one of those red coals and then slam it into the interface for the recipe. It's very weird. I'm, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Okay, so you had placed that resonator back in the home base, right? I did, yes. So all the red coal in there, when it was put into the network, my interface that was trying to call red coal, because I set the interface to pull red coal, but the red coal has your data to it, it wouldn't work. Where is this happening? I need to see. Uh, here. First down here, yeah. Okay. So this is interface? So I, I had to I had to make a new resonator to make red coal. So where Finish. where's the red coal being used at? That's actually let me see if this is actually working. Okay, get yeah, right here the second the. So before you okay. see where the red coal has two and it's working. Yeah. Um, that. I had set the red coal in that interface. To pull it before I had placed my own resonator for it, and so it, it had no idea that red coal even existed. It wouldn't work until I put down my own resonator for red coal, and then it knew to pull it. There is a solution to that. Yeah. Fuzzy card. Mm. Fuzzy card lets you ignore MBT data. Interesting. I mean, it's probably good that you've got your own separate resonator that's set up to do the automating, because we're probably still going to want to use that, the other one, for manual purposes, at least until we care to automate all of it. Right. But, but still, that's stupid. Yeah. I hate Little it. Little dumb. Yep. Little dumb. Agreed. But good that you solved it. Yeah. Maybe worth putting a fuzzy card in there anyway, in case something else happens in the future when we change up our redstone or red coal source. But what else? So what do we got here? We got black steel dust, black bronze dust, bismuth bronze dust, sterling silver dust. Okay, I'm seeing the I'm seeing it all take shape. Over here we've got electrum, brass, silver, copper, steel, red alloy, and annealed copper dusts because all of those are needed to make all of these things. Yep. Cool. Cool. Cool, cool. And then these are destabilized redstone and primal mana. Okay. And then this is the destabilized class rate. Okay. Yep. Makes sense. And then that that assuming this is all gonna actually chunk properly here. This one mixer. Oh, there it is. That mixer kicked on. Oh, it's That's mixing. That's the signal on. It's missing. It's mixing. Oh, this is god awful slow. And it's on Eevee. Oh no. Yay, signal and dust. Oh, hooray. We have done it. Hooray. <laughs> oh god. That's a process. Oh. Yeah, this whole this whole contraption on this floor is now is so far just for the signal and dust. Wow. Wow. Yeah. But since I got the the drawer output system, you need these for anything else. Yeah, good, good. It'll work. I was gonna put the crafting patterns into the interfaces for each thing too, so we can auto like request it if something is too like a job needs them or something. Yeah, that's good. So, um, yeah. Okay. I'm assuming somewhere you're going to set up signal to. Auto craft and have X number on stock at all times. So yeah, that's gotta be EBF. Okay, yep, yeah. makes sense. Do we got um, a spot for it that has the right it coils? Needs a tungsten steel EBF. I knew it. I knew we wouldn't be ready. <laughs> well, we we do have two tungsten steel EBFs down there. Oh, we do. Okay. Yeah, I had set those up last time. Remember, they're the super bright ones in the middle. Oh yeah, yeah, the blinding ones. Yeah. Yeah. These ones. So this one, if I put signal and dust there and do signal and dust here. 
There it goes. The blindingness. Signal of ingots. And a blistering 107 <laughs> seconds each. <laughs> oh, man. This pack, I swear. So, yeah. I don't know if it's worth limiting that or not. I probably should do a level emitter on there. I mean, if you let it sit for a week and a half, you might get up to 100. So. Right, that's what I was wondering, like, because, like, yeah. yeah, 107 seconds, if I. Yeah, you know, over the weekend on Tuesday, yeah, like you said, we might have... Yeah, we're not going to have significant quantities of it, regardless of how long we level emit. Let's find out. Let's what's, little... what's the math on that? That's what I'm going to do, yeah. Well, you do math, I go back to extruding. Okay. So we need extruders, um, and we need a few of them. So the extruder does not require uh, any base motors. So we can do. So if we if this these. can run constantly, if yeah, I don't know if we have the business for that, but that doesn't really matter. Sure. Uh, we'll have just shy of four thousand signalum ingots um, by six p.m. on Tuesday. Okay. Okay. So I'm not going to bother limiting it right now. Yeah. Because we don't have that much bismuth. Well, we have 3,000 bismuth dust, but I don't know where we're getting that. I don't remember. I don't either. <laughs> oh, it's from Cassiterite. Got it. That's easy. And cheap. We're doing machine hulls. So we already have the MV machine hull. We're going to do the rest of them. Because I'm tired of manually crafting things. And uh, the recipes on these in the assembly machine are so barely different that it's not even worth setting up and waiting for the craft on those. It's, it's, we, we spend one extra plate of whichever variety and maybe one extra sheet over here. It's the same number of cables and machine housings. So the recipe difference is, it's so minor that it's just not worth worrying about. So we're going to do all of them so that we have them for later. So we did the IV, LUV, IV, LUV, ZPM. We're just doing them all now because why not? Uh, UV and UHV. And those are a different process. Okay. So these go into one of these things. It doesn't really matter. How many do we got? We got nine, which is one row of these things. So we, we take a row or we take a collection of rows and just use them. Right, you may or may not notice random things showing up for auto crafting that uh, seem kind of silly, but I'm just yeah, like the titanium gearbox, or you know the ZPM machine hull, you know those kind of things. I'm just I'm just thinking ahead. Sure. Okay, so EV machine hull. EV machine hull. Let's do the six because uh, I needs them. Uh, 
Uh, and then let's do extruder. I need these titanium fluid pipes, which requires an extruder, but also requires wrench and hammer. And it requires titanium plates, which we happen to have on AutoCraft. So I just crafted 128 of them. And it's done. Um, that was my auto crafting setup downstairs, that, or the, the machine room that I just made. I love it. Uh, wrench. And grab this one just in case I break it. Hammer. Six of them. Perfect. All right, extruders, gimme. Gimme. Balls. Uh, nichrome wire, 4X. I don't have 4X in here yet. So let's check my list. Nichrome, nichrome. Nichrome, nichrome. We need base wires 2x and 4x but we don't need the 8 or the 16x and that's why I wanted to have that information so I know which ones to automate hooray signalum Yay. so we already have the 1x automated we do not have the 1x automated let's grab it uh, 1x automated in a wire mill and then 2x is 1x and 4x is multiple 1x's all right and that goes over here do that this is not going to be as clean as I'd like it to be because there's variations on what's what's needed. So I could put this two and the four here and here, but then these two would be unused. So it's a little a little funky, but it's fine. Um, so that's been automated, and then this needs to go into the wire mill. There, perfect. All right. So now I should be able. Autocraft these. Why can't I autocraft those from here? My middle click broke. Like my ability to middle click from my my here broke. Like I used to be able to middle click from here when I'm in my wireless terminal, but that no longer works. It only works when I'm in here in an actual terminal. Fascinating. All right, uh, so let's do what? What? But, but did you literally just make an extruder? What? Did you make an extruder just now? No. Why? Cause I'm dumb. That's why. Don't worry about it. All right, then I won't. Okay, extruders. They need to happen. Uh, before that happens, though, let's finish going through what I was going through earlier. Because um, I need to know how many more extruders I need. Uh, so, we went through... Wires, wires are a non-issue. Wires are... Um, wires are wire mills. Fine wires are fine wire mill, or same wire mill, whatever. Um, cables are assemblers, and then plates are bender, foils are bender, rods are lathes. So those are all covered, and they're they're known quantities. Um, and then we have. Ooh, Paige is going to get DQ. Bring me some. Send it in the mail. Uh, foil rod, so long rod, we determined is extruder earlier. Bolt is extruder. Screw is lathe. Ring is extruder. Uh, the round, now the round is, there's only four of them, so we're not going to automate those very much. 
Uh, but those are a lathe as well. And since there's only four different ones in their much later game, I'm probably not even going to include that in my wall just yet. Because um, the materials that go into those are neutronium, tritanium, uh, osmiridium, and HSS. Uh, HSS-S. Uh, all of these are much, much later. Um, so those are probably going to end up being even higher tier machines um, once we get all those materials available. So it's entirely possible that this wall is going to remain as is and we're going to have like a uh, an IV or a ULV or something like that addition to this, like on that corner over there. Who knows? But for right now, the rounds are not needed. Um, let's go back into here. Rounds. Uh, springs are benders. Small springs are benders. Uh, gear. The gears are all extruders. There is an alloy smelter, but it's twice as expensive, and there's a fluid solidifier that's faster, but requ would require a separate setup of liquefying, which would end up being obnoxious. So I'm, I'm okay with this, and I think Pine said he was okay with it as well. It's a longer cook recipe, but... It'll be fine. So at HV, that'll be uh, seven, seven and a quarter seconds. And at the EV that we're currently working at, that'll be down to, what, 3.75 seconds, something like that. So that's not too terrible. Uh, and I'm pretty sure every single one of these is a standard extruder recipe. So gear is extruder. And then small gear is also extruder at a much faster pace, which is good. And then the rotor, I do believe, is also extruder. Yes. All right, so that leaves me with one, two, three, four, five, six. I need six extrusion lines, basically. So where can six extrusion lines go? What's up? I'm just adding fine platinum wire. Nice. I'm gonna upgrade the clean room to EV. Nice. Good, good oh, luck with that. Thanks. Um, so six extruder lines. I could do, because um, we've already got this one as assemblers. This one is gonna be assemblers. I could do extruder, 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 and then one or two of the tops of these could be more extruders. That seems like a fair plan. Um, yeah, let's do that. So I need I need at least six more of the 16x energy converters. Uh, I need EV machine hulls. I need the 16x converters. I need a handful of these. Actually, let's go a lot. Ah, we need more aluminum wires. Craft up some of those too, please. I hear the chonkin. Should have enough for some. So close. There we go. That's six more of those. I will need more end steel wire, 16x. Uh, I did not automate those. So let's go automate that. I'm now to the point where I'm gonna automate everything as I need it. So the only ones that we do have automated right now are the wires themselves. So we need the, those things. 
Multitask? Yeah, new ingot. Do, doing it? What do it? What new doing? New ingot. New ingot. What are you? What are you new ingoting? Uh, HSS tag G. Oh, nice. What does that stand for, by the way? Uh, high speed steel. I don't know what the G is. Great. Um, we need all of them. So, N steel. Wire. 2X. Gimme. 4X. Gimme. 8X. 8, 8, 8, 8X. Uh, gimme. 16X. Gimme. Uh, actually, would that be better to do fours and then eight? Yeah, let's do... Oh, well, that was easy. What was easy? You multitask it to new ingot, and then you pretty much immediately had it. So that was already done. So that seemed a lot easier than the uh, signal. Oh, that's why I said new ingot, because like I just put the dust in, and then it took like however many seconds to cook, and I just grabbed it out of the network. Yeah, feels like that was a hell of a lot easier to set up than the other one. Oh, unquestionably, yeah. A little bit of a kerfuffle, because it needs tungsten steel dust. Yeah, all right. So I was grinding up the tungsten steel, forgetting that I have that auto importing. So I was just like re smelting it. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> it happens. Yeah. Okay, so now we can clear that. And uh, steel 16x, give me 32 of them. Probably not nearly enough, but. Man, look at that. 32 of them burns through an entire 512 batch of regular wires. Damn. All right. So, wires, converters, doodads, thingamabobs. I need an, a wrench here. Okie dokie. So, we're going to do blop, wrong button, wrong box. This box. That box. And we'll just do this side because why not? Okay, so this side is not quite ready yet. Um, I haven't really, I haven't really done the thing yet over here. So we're just gonna uh, eh. uh, I do I do now realize I need six more because <laughs> I forgot I was doing both sides, this side and this side with a split down the middle. So we got that one, two, three, four. Uh, wire cutter, wire cutter. I need that. So we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And then another one is going to be here. Uh, you need to go because you're not right. That's fine. And then the same deal over here.
Well, that's gonna be fun. So I need eight more cables for the top there. We're good here, here, uh, here, here, and here. I still need six more of the converters, and I need at least eight more cables. So let's do that thing. And this is cooking up all them wires, all the extra ones at least. And then we need these. Six more. Perfect. All of the auto crafting. All of it. All of it. So all the infrastructure is set up, at least the wiring portion. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I forgot these sides over here. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12. Frickin' fricky frick. Uh, conduit. Need some conduit. Because we need to power all this crap. Uh, ooh. Um, it's gonna be mildly obnoxious to conduit all of this. But that should be fine. You're good. You're good. You're good. So all these things should be powered. Uh, this side is not powered yet. Uh, because I never I never ran all this crap. Alright, let's uh, let's run this let's rerun this crap. Let's run for now. Yep, okay. Uh, and this, this side can just be run ahead of time. There we go. Power. Everything's receiving power. 
You're good. Uh, let's see. Did I miss anything over here? No, this is just going to be a longer term setup of how to do the thing. Um, these are not in the right orientation because I'm going to need the box in the middle of them. But we'll be setting that up at least on this side as we do the extruders over here. Um, so let's, let's do. So gear, small gear, spring, small spring? No, not springs. Um, we can do long rods and bolts. And then gears and small gears. Uh, let's see. So long rod, bolt, ring, gear, small gear, rotor. So let's just try to put them in some sort of semblance of order. It doesn't particularly matter which right, one's where. You can connect wires of different thicknesses each other which is nice to know oh yeah that's good to know so you can split off a 16 line down to like eights and fours and stuff apparently yeah oh huh, neat i went from an eight to a one and it looks silly but it works interesting where's that happening in the clean room oh right went the wrong way uh, da -da 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 -da. Huh, we don't have a. We should have a thingy up in the clean room. Yeah. Well, hmm. we can't. Well, we could, but it can't be part of the floor or anything. Um, I just kind of. I just uh, use my sword and go through the floor. I suppose it can't be part of the floor. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I got this. I got a transformer here to step down. Okay. The EV into the HV line here. Okay. But that takes in one amp of EV, so I was like, well, I'm bringing in eight into the room, so I wonder if this will work. Any particular reason you don't want to just replace these with uh, EV versions? Um, yeah, because I don't really want to go through to make the EV laser engravers. Well, now you got me curious. Didn't you already have somewhere that was making the uh, quantum eyes for stuff? No, I was manu I mean, I was manually doing those, but I didn't say I couldn't do it. I just said I didn't want to do it. Oh, that's fair, I suppose. I mean, we have literally everything in the network except for those quantum eyes, so that would be the only part you'd have to make. Yeah. Just say. Yeah. Yeah. Just say. More. Maybe easier than creative wiring solutions. the project for later. Well, okay. looks like I'm going to have to anyways for the circuit assemblers. Hooray! <laughs> <sighs> Alright, let's lay these out. Um, so we're going to have... These, are, these signs are going to get redone, so I'm not worried about it. Gears. Small gears. Long rod, bolt, and this is most likely excessive for all of these. I could probably get away with four machines for each of these, um, and I may end up doing that at some point. But gears take a little while to cook, um, so those kind of need an eight line. Small gears are faster, so that probably is fine with just four or less. Um, bolts, I don't know. Let's find out. Bolts are stupid fast. Like that's gonna gonna be down to like 0.1 second by the time we're done on the EV line. So we pretty much need a machine for this, but 
eight, four machines splitting out the duties would be perfectly fine. So maybe maybe I'm going a little excessive. I'm gonna take a quick BRB and stretch my legs and stuff. Okie dokie, have fun. Uh, and then small gears. Uh, I guess that's dependent on the material type. Aluminum is one second, but Darmstadium is 14 seconds, so maybe small gears also need to have their own line. Yep, okay. Um, the various large gears are also different speeds, so the large gears need their own line. Let's go long rods. Extrudes at 1.3 seconds, 3.5, 2.8. Eight, nine. Okay, yep, these also need their own lines. Good to know. This is why we check. Uh, and let's see, the other ones. Uh, ring. So I guess... Ring. And then this one is rotors. Rings are moderately long and get much longer, okay. And rotors are fairly long to begin with and get even longer. So yes, 100% each one of them needs their own lines. Perfect. Got it all sorted out. Right now we're gonna start off with one machine for each of them. And this is the part where I'm I'm going to have to mess with the, the way this place looks a little bit. Because we've got this setup over here. We've got this setup over here. But I don't have one for the middle segment. So we're just going to have to put one down. And it's going to have to just do its thing. But let's, uh, let's get the machines down at least. So we got an extruder for each section. Um, we do need the extruder bits. So extruder shaped small gear, extruder shaped gear. Uh, I'm probably gonna end up extruding pipes as well because we kind of need them for stuff. So probably, maybe I should do two more. Mmm, Paige, what'd you make? What'd you make me? Or what, what'd you what'd you buy for me? Let's take this. So we have several extruder shapes. Um, we have several sizes of pipes as well, so maybe, maybe we don't worry about that just yet. It, it might end up... It might end up that all four of these lines and the middle of these two lines are all pipes. It, it might just need to be a several amounts of extruders. And then if I need anything else, I know we still have a lathe line to do. Uh, we still have another bending line to do. Those might need to be elsewhere. Or the pipe extrusion might need to be extruded out this direction. Not entirely sure yet. Um, I was kind of counting on being able to split up some of these lines to four and four. But with how long the cooking recipes are on these things, I think we just need the full eight. Um, so, yeah, that's a thing. Mmm. Cookie dough and large fries. Mmm. Right, let me double check my lines here. So, extruder. Extruder. Uh, we need a lathe. Another lathe. Two different benders. The spring benders may end up being mixed in with the metal benders. Just because we, we should be able to get away with reusing those lines. But let me take a look at the spring bending recipes. 
Uh, you are 10 whole seconds. You are all 10 whole seconds. But that's on an LV line. So that would go up to 5 seconds at MV, 2.5 seconds at, L, at uh, HV, and then 1 and 1 and a quarter seconds on EV, which we're at. So that's actually not bad. All 10 seconds. What about the small springs? Those are itty bitty number of seconds. So small springs can definitely fit in there. Big springs can fit in there and they have the same circuit number. Oops, this direction as these bending lines do. These are all ones as well. So we can put the small springs on the plates and the big springs on the foils because the foils will be used less often, I think. Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Yeah. I have a bending line here that's going to be the twos for the double plates, which is happening here. Okay. Oh, hi, welcome back. Oh, hi. Double plates. This line is unknown. I don't. That's not how math works, Paige. I mean, that is how math works, but still, um, that's that's. I thought you meant like ten of them in a row, not ten of them at the same time. So yes, that would be how math works, sort of. You were mathing way too hard at that. Okay, so gear. Small gear. Long rod. I don't have a bolt one, so we're gonna have to make one. Um, and I don't have the other ones. So let's make the bolt one, ring, and rotor. Uh, so let's see, uh, rod, bolt, bolt, there we go, Bit of bolt. Bolt. We'll make them in my pocket then. Um, bolt. Wire cutters. All right, and then we need the, the ring. Bottle. Long rod, small gear. Where, where's the, there's the ring. Hammer and file. <laughs> and I am going to need to make Many more of these. Ah. Ring. And then rotor. Hooray. Hooray. Okay, so we got those done. Um, I'm actually kind of amazed we didn't have one of those already. Yeah, same. I was looking into how to make the EV one, and I'm like, why would I need the I like the IV circuits for this? Like, what? How, how do we? <laughs> yeah, I have no idea. And then, and then I was like looking, I'm like, oh wait, we don't even have the HV circuit assembler to make the IV. Okay. Yep. 
Yeah, so oh. f from what I've tell seen of the circuit assemblers, you're not meant to make them until you've already got the next tier circuits. Because you make the previous tier circuit assembler with the next tier circuits right. to make the current tier circuits easier to make. Right. Like, that's the intended progression. Not that we've really followed that all that much. Um, okay, so we need to replicate this setup here. Cool. All right, let's do that. Demos, I thought you were lurking. Oh, unlurk you say, okay. Unlurk for like an hour before you pass out. Alright, that's fair. That's fair. Alright, so I need more more crates. Um, I have two on me. We need four for each line. I'm gonna attempt to set up all of it, so I need uh, I need I need a number. Let's just make a number. That's fine. Some. I heard zapping happen. The zapping happening. Um, probably not a decision page. Probably more of like just a repeated mixing of uh, materials. They tend to fling those uh, those materials all over the place when they're when they're making stuff. All right, and then we need. Um, Various interfaces. I need conduits, I need conduits, I need conduits. Conduits, more conduits. Uh, I don't think I need wrenches at the moment, so that can go back in. Same with the screwdriver and the wire cutter. This might be ne necessary. Okay, I think I got all the things. Maybe. We'll find out. So, here. Doop it a doop. box. You know what? I think I've only ever had one blizzard in my life. I know, that might be blasphemous, but still. I was always a, uh, a Mr. Misty guy, which doesn't exist anymore because I think they renamed it. <laughs> End stream. <laughs> I don't even know where the nearest DQ is to me. Like, that's how long it's been since I've been to DQ. <laughs> nice, Sybil. Nice. You are technically correct. Hello, kitty. 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 Okay. 
sendiri Yeah, I don't I don't know why. I've just never been a blizzard guy. I have no I have no excuses for myself. I just I've always just wanted the Mr. Misty's instead. <laughs> Stop trying to distract with Kitty, even though it's kind of working. Uh, no. Oh, bless you. He just sneezed in my ear. <laughs> Kitty. Kitty. All right, he is, however, making this more difficult. There we go. Box. Dip. Miss. Hi, kitty. How are you doing, kitty? Da -da 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 -da. And then... Doop. Yes, I will I will continue missing out. Alright, so we've got that set up. This needs to be redone. At least this side needs to be redone. And I might as well do this side while I'm here. all I mean the the boxes and stuff are down I need to still wire the whole damn thing but still it's fine what what the fridge am I building I'm building a massive machine room uh, which will ultimately end up looking like this and this everywhere chat requests a fridge thank you for the donation page of three dollars uh, if you would like a fridge um, how about a blast chiller vacuum freezer another one I mean okay um, frost proof aluminum machine casing um, Aha! I need to set up this automation anyway, so perfect. Uh, tip up, uh, bit bop, bop, bop. <laughs> Kitty flop. Kitty flop. Kitty flop. Good kitty. Planned. Yes, indeed. Alright, so we need. Kitty. <laughs> he loves this thing. This is the cap to my water bottle. And if I put it anywhere other than in the water bottle, he steals it and flings it to the floor. <laughs> Good kitty. <laughs> All 
All right, so we need to automate the frame box. Um, and let's let's go a step further. You want fridge. Uh, we're going to automate all of the frame boxes. Oh. I didn't realize there were so many. So many. So friggin' many. Alright. Um... Hmm. Hi, kitty. Yes, good kitty. Good kitty. Um, automate, automate the fridge boxes. All right, we're doing it. Oh, kitty's gonna make this difficult process, isn't he? So, Civil, let me know if you want a better explanation of my machine room. Because um, it's, uh, it's a little excessive and I'm well aware of this. Ah, I didn't remove the friggin' program circuit. Set up a bracket, bracket. Set up a bracket, bracket, bracket. Merp. Kitty. <laughs> Kitty. Kitty. You, you get the gist of it? Alright. I, I figured you did, you were able to keep up. Nope. Kitty, you are really distracting. You are really incredibly ever so distracting. Which one was that? That was a watertight steel frame. That was that was that one. So we need this one. Oh, you want you want the demonstration of the ore processing, you say? All right. Uh, do you want me to do that, or do you want Pine to do that? Because he set up the entire ore processing doodad. Force Pine to do it. Force Pine to do it. All right, we're on haste, Aloy. Hey, hey, Pine, you got a sec? Uh, I will in just a moment. Hold on. i to finish doing this before I lose what I'm thinking okay. about. All right, so we're on, we're on Haste Deloy C276. Haste Deloy C276. Where you is. Uh, we actually is going your way, uh, towards the ore processing. What's up? Gila, 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 I need you to... I'm I need in to the start. ore processor. There is, there is a request for you to show off your ore processing. A single stack of something and how much crap we get out of it. Is there? Yes, there is. Uh... Okay, sure. Give me one, one sec, because we're actually processing a bunch of railgar right now. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what... Oh, yeah. We're still uh, still macerating it. Okay, how much did you put in? Uh, six stacks. Okay. And uh, is the output automatically going into the network in other places? It is. It but, is. Um... Well, let's see, how long is this going to take to finish chunking? It shouldn't be too long before this is all done. And okay, then, okay. then we can come back in 10 minutes and then, well, we can do a tour. Okie dokie. That's not, does that work? Civil, you good with that? 
even. <laughs> Maybe even five minutes, because, well, there's, this is still getting added. Yeah, probably ten minutes. We'll see. Okay. All right, ten minutes. All right, ten, ten minutes it is. All right. 9.27. Got it. I'm definitely not setting a timer on my phone. Let's, let's finish working on what we're doing. Uh, I was on Haste Alloy X. Uh, rocked. Brass. Uh, brass. Bronze. H, H, D, H, L, H, S, L, A. Steel. There we go. That's the... That's the name. And then Inkaloy. Alright, all these can go over in the number four. Okay, have fun, Paige. Let me go set the rest of the patterns. frame box. I don't think we need a wood frame box for anything. Um, pretty positive. And I probably should have looked to make sure that we actually need all of these car uh, these box units. Like, uh, this ultimate frame box isn't actually needed for anything. I should have looked at that. But we're just gonna keep going with it. I know, right? Those capacity cards. Um, so it's a mod uh, called AE2 Unofficial Extended Life. Uh, so it's someone. I, I think AE2 got retired or something. I'm not entirely sure. But this AE2 Unofficial Extended Life was added to this pack. Um, so there's lots of extra fun stuff. But yeah, those capacity, the pattern expansion cards are fantastic. Which is why I've got these all going this way. Um, so I can have two interfaces of, what is it, 40-something patterns, 36 patterns I think it is. Because um, it's, it's not quite enough for all the number of patterns that we need for some of these things. Now granted, some of these lines don't necessarily need that many but I don't feel like figuring out which ones are which, so we're just setting up the whole damn thing to be uniform. Like wires, for example, we're gonna need a whole hell of a lot more than just these 36 patterns for wires, so it's fine. And it would be awful. <laughs> Overkill, you approve, nice. Uh, it would be absolutely awful to try to figure out um, how many of these interfaces and how to shuffle all of that together to have a single line of wires without those expansion cards. So I really approve of those expansion cards. <laughs> All right, where the hell was I? I was on Berkelium frame box. There we go. Wood frame box, titanium frame box. So I'm probably in my off time gonna go through and figure out which ones we don't need and then undo all of this work. <laughs> because I just started going and totally forgot that some of these frame boxes aren't needed for anything. A lot of them are, though. Just 
just making sure I remove the circuit from each one of those. All right, so these also all go in here. Nice. So that's that's all of the um, the frame boxes. Now the frame boxes then go into stuff like these casings. So if I do casing, uh, we have several casings. Uh, so that's a, that's a six, but that's a brick. Um, heat proof invar is one. So these are all the ones that we're going to need to put into the other machine. Many of which may not be relevant to our current needs. Uh, but like this pipe casing, for example, is just a regular craft. Uh, the firebox casing is a regular craft. The bronze machine casing is one. And I don't know how many of these we're going to need, but we're going to do them all because why the hell not? I do need more patterns. Legit, already forgot which ones I'm doing. Uh, chemically inert PTFE machine casing. Uh, that one does require a PTFE uh, wrap over it. Um, so that one I might, I might set up, but I'll save it for later, I guess. I don't know. Because all these other ones are just standard craft. That chemically inert one is the, the unique one. But it doesn't matter if I put PTFE in the machine for all of the other ones, because they're going to work regardless of that liquid being in there. So I would just put the, the liquid in the machine. When this one came up, it would be ready to go. Um, and then these gearbox casings are also a number four, so we can come back to those. Steel turbine casing. Yes, so I'm currently doing the number sixes. Uh, you probably caught the gearbox casing, that's the number four, that I'm gonna have to go back to and do those in a minute. Just so I don't, just so I don't mess up my flow. Uh, so I did these, these are the tungsten steel turbine casings, ULV machine casings, these are the eights, I already did those. Uh, this is an engine intake casing, which is a non, okay. Interesting. Let's do those as well. Because uh, there's only two of them. And I'm going to take those right over to my nun box over here. Uh, let's see. We also have assembly control casing. That's a manual craft. Assembly line casing is a manual craft. All of these. Okay, so here's more number sixes starting at the maceration casings. Uh, that's gonna wait because we're gonna run out of space in the pocket. Yeah, in fact, let's go do those fours before I forget.
Look at that. Perfect. Hopefully there's no more fours. Because <laughs> uh, then it will not be perfect anymore. Alright, so then these, um, starting here, the secure maceration casings. That's not the right recipe at all. So you know how I've been saying for a couple of weeks now that I want to get to the point where if I need one of something, I'm just going to auto craft it. Yeah. The, uh, the first IV tier circuits are now being auto crafted. <laughs> nice. <laughs> nice. Did it again. Yeah. I'm, I'm kind of doing the same thing with all my auto crafting as I've been, as I've been setting up the machine wall, I've pretty much been auto crafting all of it except for the machines themselves. And I'm even tempted to do that too. Alright, watertight, shockproof. There we go. There we go. Yep. There there what go? Quest chain. Oh nice. I'm I'm still in menus. Oh. That was laser save, so we gotta do the atomic casing. Pizzap. Fusion reactor casing, those things, that thing, these things. Okay, so we're done. We're done. First tier five circuit. Oh yeah. IV circuits. And you no longer have to dump diodes into the network. Hooray! So those are that's all set up too. Hooray. Um what are the numbers in the pattern terminal? Oh, that's so that's if you want to have uh several of a thing. You can, you know, divide it by three or You may three occasionally X. have to purchase phalarite or railgar for the gallium or arsenic, but I Whatever. think it's real broken if you do that. Okay, well we might need to do that unless we want to automate whichever micro miner is responsible for that. Tier five? Yeah, I'll get right on yeah. it. Yeah, get on that. Sure. Alright, so these are all sixes. I'm gonna do a, a quick search in the network for casing. Casing the joint? Yes. We, we have a few on Autocraft now. But why? Because I'm setting up machines. That's why. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I'm glad that you already had the aluminum frame boxes on Autocraft. Uh huh. Because I need those. I needed those for the mainframe. I was like, well, oh, that's convenient. I, I literally just did that like a minute or two ago. Yeah. So that was that was good timing. That was great timing. Okay. Um, All right. Let me uh, turn off the output box, and then whoever wants a demo should pick an ore. Oh yeah. Uh, do, 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 do. All right. Pick an ore. Civil. Uh, right, cool. Do you have an ore preference that we actually have access to? Shit. I don't know. All right. Um, well, what what was that thing you just said we might need to buy more of? Oh, I already processed a bunch, so that'll be irrelevant here. Well, let's, um, let me think of a good one here. Uh, uh, we're doing a shit ton of EV casings. Do we need more titanium? We're, we're under 2,000. No, because we technically get titanium it, 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 from it. any ore that's in regular stone. 
Oh, really? Because, well, spinning up the stone dust oh, gives us metal mixture, and then if you spin the metal mixture, you get ilmenite, which comes oh, which turns yeah, into yeah. tungsten or titanium. I mean. Uh, let's so, see. What what ores do we want? We could do nickel. Nickel ore. That's a common one, right? Sure. Let's do nickel. Hey, kitty. Hi, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. Come here, kitty. All right, one stack of nickel ore goes into this here box. Or, well, it gets pulled from the network from wherever it comes from. But I'm going to manually put it in the box. Yeah. All right, nickel since ore it's, in the box. Since it's not a dense ore, it skips these first chemical reactors. Yep, and now it's now and it's all over these machines. Macerated. They're, getting, they're getting the maceration. From the maceration, it goes, it skips the diluted or the distilled water washing some of it yeah, some of it some some goes in some goes in some uh, goes to mercury distillation some's going into the mercury distillation all right because it's it can contain platinum so we'll use the mercury distillation to pull the platinum out all right or the mercury washing rather from there uh it may or may not skip this step because it pulls out the raw platinum, but this bit, some ores will result in platinum group sludge when you wash it, which that's what this whole section here is set up to do. Yep. It'll pull out platinum, osmium, iridium, uh, ruthenium, and whatever else. I'm hearing a distinct humming. Hmm. That's... Probably ah, the advanced mixers, perhaps. No, nope. well, they are. There's sphalerite in there, but there shouldn't be. But that doesn't matter. We didn't put in sphalerite, so that bit's a little. Um, there's not working right. Yeah, your chemical that. reactor is loaded up with uh, with aluminum dust as well. Well, that's supposed to happen. Oh, so okay. this bit for the iridium processing, which we haven't ever gotten iridium, needs to react with aluminum powder. So that bit's. Got it. Intentional. Okie dokie. Uh, down here, since it's not a gem, we pass the sifting machines and instead go into thermal centrifuges, which it looks like that's already done because we've been too slow. Yeah. So it gets thermally centrifuged and then crushed up again, and then it goes downstairs. Uh, it's not Nequada or Monzonite, so that passes through the electromagnetic separators just fine. Uh, any small or tiny piles that are processed or generated during the whole process get packaged and back into regular piles. Ah, uh, it's the mass centrifuge wad I'm hearing. These I think. giant centrifuges spin up any kind of dust that needs to be separated apart, like stone dust or metal mixture that come out of it. Um, again, it's not a gem, so it passes this section, which is for the ruby, sapphire, and green sapphire slurries. Yeah, yeah. This line of chemical baths is just for tungsten, so we ignore it as well. And then any ionic compound dust that comes out gets uh, electrolyzed apart, like the cassiterite and whatever else. And then if it's uh, ingotable, it gets smooshed in, or it gets automatically blasted into ingots, such as the nickel and the platinum will be. And so now if you look in this box, one stack of nickel ore gave us all of this. All of this. So one stack of nickel ore gave us... In fact, some of the nickel dust made it through. Interesting. I'm not sure how. Uh, we, we got uh, three quarters of a stack of cobalt. Uh, three quarters go. of a stack of cobalt. Um, one and three quarters stack of platinum ingots. Uh, three quarters of a stack of iron. Stack of nickel. Marble dust, quartzite dust, banded iron dust, ilmenite dust, sulfur, barium... Nickel, more nickel dust, potassium, silicon. Am I? Oh, aluminum, that's why. Al al aluminium, I'll, manganese. I'll fix the nickel right now. I didn't have it in this in the ah, alloy sm or the smelter. Got it. Uh, filter. I know, also, right? Yeah. Uh, Civil, check out how fast this smelter handles one stack of nickel. Done. Done. <laughs> So that's two stacks of nickel. So 
So yeah, that's a uh, that is a uh, quite the batch of stuff. Yeah, whole bunch of stuff from just that one that one stack. Mm -hmm. And then we turn this back on and push it into the network for use wherever it's needed. Yep, yep. That is a uh, is quite the process. Now, is this the whole chain? This is the whole chain, that whole flow chart. The yeah. whole flow chart. Okay. Both floors. So yeah. two floors or most of two floors for the entire flow chart of possible ore production or ore processing. And that's covering some ore stuff that we we don't even have yet. We've never gotten. Like the Nakoto right, stuff. Yeah. Mm hmm And it looks like, yeah. We have never gotten iridium, so I haven't ever noticed until now the iridium group uh error over here with the sphalerite and the water just sitting in here. Ah, okay. But uh I'll I'll troubleshoot that before we start generating iridium. Okie dokie. Well that was, that was very it's very impressive, especially the fact that it it takes longer to explain it than it does for the ore to actually process. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the ore goes through quite quite rapidly. Yeah. Um so yeah, this this will handle any ore that you uh, that you put into it. So how long do you think it would take, for example, to process, let's say, 10 stacks of ore? Assuming it was all fed in at the same time. I don't know, go do it. But I don't, I don't wanna. Oh. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> um, I can't imagine it'd be that long. Like five minutes? I don't have a good way to time it either. Let me see here. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to tell when it's all done too, because so it's so many with, different machines. Right. Part of the problem with that answer is the centrifuges downstairs. Yeah. Because they centrifuge out the stone dust. Oh yeah. And then the stone dust makes metal mixture, which is. It gets sent back through the centrifuges, and each pile of metal mixture takes 50 seconds to centrifuge. Right, and it's still technically not done centrifuging that last batch. Or it might be still built up from the batch that you had running before. Because right, it could be either Because it's so damn slow, yeah. So, so we might need a bigger array of centrifuges just to handle that. I mean, most of these aren't running, so... True, but once but, we start feeding through more stuff, yeah. that might just overload this whole thing. I can also have this thing skip over stone dust, but True. I guess, so if we wanted to time it based on, let's say I put in 10 stacks of nickel and we see how long it takes for me to get 10 stacks, like 20 stacks of nickel ingots instead of all the byproducts, we can certainly time that. Okay. But I imagine it's on the order of just a couple of minutes. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm just thinking in terms of automating the micro miners. At some point, we are going to get like ten stacks of ores at a time. Right, and the benefit is, depending on the ores, some of these stages are skipped, so right. I can handle multiple stacks in parallel depending on what we get. Yep, and this is EV, so yes. the ability to upgrade from here is somewhat limited, at least until. You know, we're a couple steps in, because I don't think we want to upgrade to IV for this whole thing. That feels a little excessive. Yeah, no, I think, yeah, the next step that I would really want to try to do is rebuild this all, but with the uh, multi-blocks. Yeah, as many of the multi-blocks as we can, at least. So that way it can process through things as fast as, like, the chemical yeah. reactor upstairs or this uh, the smelter. It's a shame that there isn't a big multi-block centrifuge. What are you talking about? There's a big multi-block centrifuge. Yeah. Yeah, See, when I, when I look at the centrifuge recipe, it doesn't list a multi-block variant like it does with a lot of like the EBS and stuff like that. Oh, um, So it's hard yeah. to know which ones are actually multi-block available. Well, that's because like the large chemical reactor, some recipes can only be done in that. Right. All, in addition to any uh, recipes that can be done in like a single block, chemical reactor can also be done in the large one yeah but the multi-black centrifuge can handle anything that the regular centrifuges can so they just lump it all in together nice so then IV is the next upgrade but IV is the large units at least the right. centrifuge that I'm looking at right now yeah 
It's, it's, yeah, it's just hard to know which multi-blocks are available, unless, of course, I'm reading the entire freaking book, which I'm not. I think every Greg Tech machine has a multi-block variant. So Except for are. the assembler and the circuit assembler. Well, the, the assembler will be the assembly array, or the processing line, processing array, whatever those are called. I don't know okay. if the circuit assemblers have one necessarily, unless the production lines or whatever they're called can do both. That's a big old large mixing vessel. Yep. I do want to be involved in the large, the large processing setup because that looks oh, like fun. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We'll uh, we'll rebuild this somewhere else. Yeah. Maybe maybe that have... big new building that you're pondering. Could be. Could be. Not that we don't have enough buildings to work with, but <laughs> I understand your desire for something big and pretty. Big and pretty. Um. So yeah, that's the uh, that's ore processing. That is indeed ore processing. Any questions? Uh, yes. When do we automate microminers fully? Uh, <laughs> we can do whenever we can get phosphorus. We can we can do we can automate them. Well, at least automate the tier one because those just require a regular crafting bench. Um, but we need the manganese phosphide wires, which those are going to be a bit of a conundrum. The every micro miner from there on needs the advanced crafting automation. Good news! We can automate phosphorus with tier one we just need iv sensors for the gemstone sensor aspect which we are almost at uh, are yeah. we though? i mean you literally just said we have I, uh, iv circuits on autocraft so yes we are there right now we don't have iridium rods oh well damn it <laughs> <laughs> so we're not there yet. It's always it's always something with this guy. <laughs> Alright, fine. How long until we can get iridium? Well let's see. We can't get iridium ore, so that's cool. We no, know that well, it's going to be the osmeridium from the microminer. Osmeridium is uh, osmium and iridium. Got it. Okay. That's a tier four, which we can... Well, we need the next level of crafting table, which I can work on. Because we got the signal incoming. Yeah. For the double plates. Yeah. Nice. Oh. 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 We need the next size up microverse projector. We need the advanced one, the big, the medium sized. Oh, I see. The small one only does tiers one, two, and three. Four, I five, and see. six go into the advanced, and then, yeah. But it looks like that's not drastically different from the previous one just more blocks it's all there's right. nothing you want to you want to build it i do want to build it i'll work on making the the table in the miner yeah okay. okay should i slap this thing where the previous one is i would say we'll probably want it in addition to you can't send the one two and three through the medium one it has to go through the small oh okay 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 so we're probably eventually going to want multiple of each size, but okay, okay, um, okay. So let's let's see, microverse, microverse. We have three sizes of microverse: big, bigger, and biggerest. Um. Engine intake casing is only titanium. Yeah, and I 
just automated that. Hmm. Um, I'm tempted. Very tempted to just build them both and be done with it. Because <laughs> I'm gonna have to build a whole bunch of these components anyway. And most of it is already automated. So, so, uh, let me, let me run this past you. What if... Yeah. Okay, hear me out here. I'm listening. What if... I built both the next tier to near next two tiers up of microverse projector now. Uh, there is literally no part that we can't currently make, except for maybe the IV tier circuits, depending on how many we have. Check uh, this: the network for mainframe. Oh, we have 16. We have 16. So technically we have enough. Technically. technically. If you want to, if you want to tackle that, go for it. Hmm. They're kind of big, so you're going to probably they're probably not going to fit yeah. on that room or on that floor. Oh yeah, no, they they're not going to floor cuz one of them the, the next one up is a 5x5, five five, so I'd have to replace the floor and ceiling with it. Um, and the next one up is 7x7. Seven Nine by nine. Nine by nine. Oh, okay. It's a big chonker. It's a big chonker. Um, where would we want these? Because they are very, they're kind of decorative, and I like them. What if? Hmm. Hmm. I could hollow out the top floor or two of that, or we could use this building. What about the uh, the medium-sized terracotta building next to the reactor? The, sure. the one that we haven't actually used yet that I wired up. Sure. Go ahead. Okay. Well, there's this little mess, but you know, whatevs. Not entirely sure what that's for. Alright. Let's get to get to chewing. Um, so this thing. Yeah, we got room. Oops. I uh, forgot chewed. about the reactor. I gotta keep uh I chewed too keep much. processing stuff through there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, any reason you don't have that automated? Well, I... So... Uh, I'm trying to breed the higher tier fuels. So what I did is I went through all of the lowest tier that you can make. And then I went through all the second tier. And then when that ran out, now I just had to go the auto make and go through all the third tier. Ah, uh, okay. So that's going until it runs out of the materials from tier two. And then we can... Yeah. So it's kind of automated. It's just to see. Yeah. Whoops. Okay, let's uh let's slap a floor in here. And the tier ones just require thermally centrifuged thorium dust, which we're making in that rock smasher on the first floor with the black granite so that's that's nice nice so we can always start over if we run out of the higher tiers we just start over at thorium and work your way back up okay that's not too bad no all right so we're gonna
conduits were getting in the way. Let's see. Interesting that the conduits act that way when breaking. So this is the this is the floor. So this can be the big one. Uh, I did need to finish tearing up the roof. Bah! I hate when I let go too early. Alright Demos, have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. Okay, so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So if we place the bottom of this thing on the ground, it's gonna be up to the damn ceiling. Uh, this is probably going to need to get reworked somehow what is this Is that a reactor? Oh. Oh. Weird. All right. All right. All right. Uh, let's go do the crafting of the components. So we need microverse projector casing, which is a number six. How convenient to have a spot for that. Microverse protector casing. One minor issue. Okay. Microversium. Yep. We need lots. Okay. We don't have lots. Yep. How 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 fix? Um just take some out of the network. Or how many do you need? Thousand or so, give or take. Okay. I'm guesstimating. Probably more than that. Did you just have it level level limited? Yep. Ah, that would do it, okay. And it takes eight seconds per ingot, so that might take a while. I see. But it'll go. It'll go, all right. So let's start with 16 for now. I did it wrong. I'm dumb. Again. I got out of my habit of removing the circuits. 
Here we go. Okay. So that should be cooking here. Uh, except for... It is not. Which means I probably forgot to wrench it and screwdriver it properly. Wrench... Screwdriver. So we wrenchy. Screwdriver. -y. Auto. There we go. There we go. I screwed and wrenched them correctly. I just didn't, uh, I didn't auto do the thing. So that should be done. We have 16 of them, perfect. Let's make the, um, the advanced housing. And then let's see, we need 48 projector casings. And then we need great machine casings. Make some of those. have enough. We don't have enough to even make the basic one right now. So that's going to be a wait. Alright, we did not even have enough microversium to craft even the basic advanced one. So that's going to be a that's going to be a wait until the cook happens. And then the advanced 2 is a little bit further down the line. Uh, do you know exactly how many ingots you need? The advanced. Let me do some mathing. Uh, about five hundred for the advanced two. And we're missing about 45 for the advanced one. Okay, um, I can quickly spin up another one of these EBS to double it. Okay. I mean, I'm fine with not doing that now, if you want to just wait for it to cook up on its own. Because that can be a project for next week. Well, a thousand will take two hours to go, so I mean, you could technically get it done still tonight. Oh, it's that early. Well, then, go for it. Yeah, 8,000 seconds is uh, 133 minutes. All right, we'll do it. And I'll go back to working on the other projects I was working on. The other projects, like setting up all of this crap. All right, uh, so I'm going to set up. I'm gonna set up the automation. So we need to. We don't have easy access there. There we go. So you are an off. You're good. Uh, you can also be an off, actually. Because that's just pushing back up into there. Okay. Uh, and then you... Obviously, I didn't start from the other direction, 
but it's fine. We'll eventually get there. So under night chrome coils, it's only four seconds. So that's good. Oh, that's good. All right, do we have any night chrome coils in the network? No, uh, only eight. Damn. That's unfortunate. Yeah, I was gonna upgrade the other one then too. Ah, oh, well. Now it's like one every six seconds. So one every eight. It's even better. I, I approve of the efficiency increase. Yeah. Places. Lechonkin happened. Um, these circuit assemblers, I'm pretty sure we're going to end up doubling or tripling them. So we're going to end up with like two or three eights, two or three sixes, two or three fours, and probably a lot more ones and, and zeros. I haven't decided yet. I need to do more investigation on how many different recipes we might need for the assembler uh, without a circuit. Because the hardest part about that one, like we can do circuit assembler one and just do a use on a one and see in an assembler which one's one is so you can 30 recipes for a one so we know exactly how many are needed for a one but when you just do an assembler without a circuit i can't really search for no circuit it gives me all of the recipes for the assembler with and without a circuit so then i have to go through this whole damn thing and see which ones don't have a circuit and then which of those recipes we might actually want to automate. Um, this might be a, a thing where we just need to find them as we go and put the recipes in. Because reading through 500 pages of these to de determine which ones don't have a circuit and which ones we might then want to automate, I don't think I want to do that. Um, it's easy enough for the ones, the fours, etc., but not the zero. If it were a zero circuit, that would be easier. Because then I could just search for the zero circuit, but no luck on that okay so I'm going to take all of the filter colorings from these things and apply them across the board oops wrong one to all of these and we're just gonna we're just gonna replicate all of the, co the colors all the ins and outs because it'll just be a hell of a lot easier that way Oh, I need that there, and that there, and that, and that. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Let me copy that one. And then we just do the same thing across the board for all of them. Doot and doot and doot and doot 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 It would be easier if I had multiple of these conduit probes because then I could copy several several connections at one time and just cycle through them all but I'd probably start forgetting which ones are which and I'd probably screw up the whole thing
Alright, almost done. Just uh, one more row to do. Okay, so that's that, and then we need to copy these and apply them to the bottom rows. And then we need to copy these and apply them to the top rows. Alright, so that's it for the in and out configuration. Now I just need to re create some recipes and we're good to go. So we'll, we'll do some of the more needed recipes right now and then I will go through and do all of the recipes according to my spreadsheet later. Uh, you got any? You got any requests for extrusion recipes? Uh, I like uh, rotors. I mean, like any particular ones. Yeah, uh, All of them. Bronze and stainless steel, at least. Bronze, tin, and stainless steel. Can do. Runs. Tin. Uh, stainless steel. Is that one. Although it's at the point where I probably should just do all of them. Uh, actually, let's 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 do a test of what my my um, my spreadsheet does. So my spreadsheet. If I hit yes, we need. Uh, you did not miss fridge page. I, uh, I, ho I held off on that. I did automate some of the parts leading up to the fridge, um, but I was waiting for you. Okay, so bronze, uh, stainless steel, uh, steel, Uh, tungsten steel. Uh, why is tin needed? Why is tin not on my to-do list? Was I being dumb? I was probably being dumb, so let's uh let's, let's fix that on my sheet. All tin. Wait, tin is a yes. We're already up to six hundred microversium. Nice. So I don't know how many you needed, but I needed good? I needed about six hundred, maybe give or give or take a little bit less. So um, nice. Turns out tin was on my list. I wasn't scrolled up high enough. Let's start over. Um, Darmstadium. Iridium. Uh, and then tin. And then titanium. And then, and then bronze, and these ones, tungsten steel, uh, and then Nakoda alloy. Oops, Nakoda alloy. 
Uh, and then rhodium plated lumium pallid, pal palladium. Some of these things are really friggin' hard to say. Uh, and then HSS. Done. That's all the that's all the rotors. Rotors are the bottom one. So we slap of those. Uh, I probably need one of these in here. One of those in there. Slap a 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 slap. I don't technically need these two, so let's pull those out for now. Eh, fuck okay. it. Let's have them all. Why not? Alright, so I know I asked you which rotors, and I ended up doing them all anyway. Well, that's... I mean, that, that's fair. That works. Yep. So rotor, rotors are set. I mean, we only have one machine for them right now. But I've got it set up so that I've got one machine for each of the extruder types. And then I'll expand those as we need to. Um, I just need to set up some recipes, and then and then they're all ready to go. Sick. So, um... I don't know if I want to do them all right now, but if you've got any particular gears, small gears, long rods, bolts, or rings that you need, um, let me know. Uh, noted. Alright, let's get back to Paige's freezer. So the rotors are done. I like it. I'm gonna even color that one a color so I can remind myself that I'm done with it. Uh, color. How do I color on this damn thing? I'm not used to open office at all. Uh, format? Nope. Color. Does open office not know how to do color? It does not. Let's bold it instead. Perfect. That's a, that's a perfectly valid way to note things are done. Hey, what what you what you mocking my my level zero carpentry? But, but why though? But why though? Alright, so. Vacuum freezer. We're making a vacuum freezer. Because uh, that's what Paige wants to make. We don't have HV electric pumps on order. We don't have HV electric motors on order. Three. Silver cables are out. Silver cables are out. Well, shit snacks. All right, Paige, we're uh, we're ma we're taking another detour because that's that's how this night is gonna go. Every time I need to automate something, I'm automating something. Silver, silver. We only need tier one or one X and two X wires, and we need. 2x cables, and that's it. Okay, that's easy enough. Uh, 2x wires. Pattern. Uh, silver cable. Pattern. Pattern. Alright, silver cables. <laughs> there is so much fucking rabbit hole in this game. You you turn your head the wrong direction and cough a little too hard, and suddenly it's all gone to hell. Uh, the that's not what what is this recipe you have in here for? Um, two x. Uh, never mind. I'm dumb. Again. Okay. Well, I'm here to answer any questions you may have that are real. I'll let you know when I have one of those. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> oh, I remember that moment night when we started saving on resources. It's an it's a good moment. Uh no, uh, no, that was that was a legit one page because uh he called me fake after I attempted to blame him on something that I did. It's it's hundred percent valid. Hi, 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 hi. How are you? Hi, 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 hi. Hi. Is it is it kitty time? Is it kitty time? I know, Paige, and that uh, video that Sparkle sent was not helping. I do want to do something neat like that for him. I am the cat tree. <laughs> Alright, Gila. Alright, Gila. Alright, Gila. We're, we're doing the tree thing. We're doing... No, don't come up here. We're doing the tree thing. Get down there. Gizmo. Gizmo. There we go. Hi, kitties. You have the long rod extruder or the thing over there or no? The mold. We ever, ever make one? Get the time. Ignored. <laughs> Tail. You you like Gila's little song as he was demanding his treats. Alright, did I miss anything? Yeah, do you have the extruder mold for long rods over there or no? Uh, it's in the extruder machine for long rods. Cool. So what the, what the recipe you want? I need tungs long tungsten steel rods. Okie dokie. And also tungsten steel plates. Okay. Plates in. I had forgotten where I put my long rods. Long rods. Long rods in. Hmm, I don't see the long rods in the network. Let me refresh it. Nope. Oh, nope. My bad. I forgot to put the damn ME conduits on here. Ah, uh, that'll do it. Yeah, kind of need those. See him. Really? Yep, nope. Interesting. Long rod. That. 
conduit and me conduit connecting 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 the plates went in but the long rods did not why is that Oh, I think I know. Okay, let me, uh, let me cut you off. Cut you off. Does that work? No, that didn't work. But why, though? These are all connected, right? Yeah, those are connected. Could that be it? Ah, there we go. Okay, fixed it. It was being stubborn. I know, right? So many freaking yep, patterns. Nice. How long is that craft? Oh, it's not that long. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, about a, about a second each. Maybe a second and a quarter. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And that's only with one machine. Right. All right. So let's fix that again for this. So the problem was when these ME interfaces are pointed in a direction... Uh, they will not connect on a couple of their faces. I think it's the back, the dot faces. Um, but also it appears that if an ME conduit is connected on multiple faces of an interface, it no longer works at all. Um, so make sure that your ME conduits are only connected on one face. This is, this is good information. I was unaware of this information. All right, uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. So I'm going to It, it's all connected where it needs to be. It's all connected where it needs to be. Um, probably would be a little cleaner if I remove that top one. And put that here instead. And by a little cleaner, I mean absolutely not much cleaner at all. those blocks so huge those conduit connector blocks these ones are friggin huge while the same ones on this side are tiny itty bitty it's probably the orientation that they're at and which cables are going in which direction because here you've got 
white in front and purple in back. Here you've got purple in front, white in back, because they're the same orientation regardless of where they're at. So when those cables have to go different directions from over there, the conduit connector builds up bigger than expected. Very weird, but acceptable. Just fine. Okay, so that should all be fixed so that when everything does get put in here for recipes, they should work. Um, let's let's see about bolts. How many how many bolts do we need? Lots. Cool. Uh, long rods. Less than lots. Long rods are potentially easy. But no, I'll go through all those recipes later. I'll even do the rings and all that stuff, the gears, rings, etc. Those will be over the weekend because um, it's just you've watched me click recipes for much of the night. I don't need to make you watch more of that. So let's um, let's finish the freezer that I keep putting off. You require fridge. So let's finish fridge. Screwdriver, wrench. Mmm. Mmm. More automation. More automation. But no, we'll do, we'll do it the hard way for now. Screwdriver, wrench. Screwdriver, wrench. Screwdriver, wrench. Freezer. Vacuum freezer. Alright, Civil, thanks for hanging out. Have yourself a good night. So this is why my terminal keeps running out of power, because I keep sitting in here for friggin' ever watching it. Um, so let's grab... Uh, let's grab my terminal out. Let's charge my terminal. Let's grab this. And make sure this is set to... Just equipment. So as not to accidentally charge things that don't need to be charged. Uh, let's do... Frost-proof aluminum machine casings. I, I built those earlier. I did get part of the way I've done. Um, so we need some of the frost proof machine casings. We need input bus, output bus, etc, etc, etc. Maintenance hatch. That one can be automated with a one. It's an LV machine hull. So let's do that because that's an easy recipe. Maintenance hatch with a one. That's my first one. Nice. Um, HV hatches. So we need hatches. Uh, HV input hatch. We have machine hulls, tempered glass. So input hatch. Oops, hang on. Output hatch. Uh, energy hatch. Now those ones are a little bit more obnoxious. But we have some. Perfect. Uh, and then we need um, HV bus. We do have an HV input bus already, so we'll just make an output bus. Alright, uh, we need a muffler.
I'm not entirely sure we needed a muffler, actually. Let's take a look. Uh, energy, output, maintenance, input, output, output, uh, input, and machine casing. So we didn't even need a muffler. Alright, well, muffler goes back in the box. Um, input, output, input, output, energy, freezer, machine casing. Uh, we need a maintenance hatch. Which is, which is done. Alright. We're gonna make we're gonna make a freezer. <laughs> freezer. So we need maintenance hatch on the bottom. Freezer. We need casing, 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 casing. Casing, casing, casing. Uh, I don't remember if this is a uh, hollow or not. I could just look. This is fine. I could look. It is hollow. Okay. Good. Alright. Uh, and it's all. Casing, 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 casing. Energy, energy. Casing, 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 casing. Uh, casing, casing. And then we do uh, the buses. Output bus, input bus. Output hatch, input hatch. We have a freezer. It does have maintenance problems. I do need a um, wrench, screwdriver, mallet, hammer, wire cutter, crowbar. Hello, Baluna. I have so many MacGuffins. I have all of the MacGuffins. This, this entire page here is basically a list of MacGuffins that I have, um, or at least a partial list of MacGuffins that I have crafted tonight. I need so many more. Uh, let's see. Pulsating. Which one do we need? For back here, we need the vibrant alloy wire. Made too many. I need a hammer. I need a mallet. I need a wire cutter. I need a screwdriver. I need a wrench. It's all hooked up. Maintenance. What am I missing? I'm missing a crowbar. What's this freezer for? Paige paid me to make a freezer. Okay. Pointless thing can the freezer do? Um, the freezer can freeze ingots to solidify them from you their hot state. You configure it to do like the same thing that the uh, ingot one is doing. So that way, when we're mass producing stuff, they can double up, split it around, maybe. Oh, yeah, could do that. I mean, they gotta move it, but yeah. Oh well, maybe not. Uh, MB. Do we? Is this thing still running on MV? 
Huh? Oh, oh damn. Oh. Well, it's technically running HV, but yeah. Do we have any energy here? Huh? Oh, I was just looking to see. Yeah, we only have one HV energy hatch, otherwise we could just straight up upgrade it. We I gotta mean, make another one though. I mean, this one is HV energy hatch, but yeah. Uh, well, we could uh, yeah upgrade the one that's running, the H. Well, technically the EV if we put two down. Yeah. Okay. Okay. More freezer. Oh. Uh, circuit assembler. Circuit assembler. Assembly machine. Where'd you go? Me? You're still down here? No, well, I went up to the, the clean room to make the HV circuit assembler, or the HV energy hatch. Uh, here, check out this wacky ingot. It's a mouthful. Mer Mercury. Barium calcium cuprate. That is uh, it's quite the mouthful indeed. Yeah. Thanks. Okay. I do not believe that this area is set up anymore to do what I wanted to do. <laughs> Make that redundant amount of power not redundant than the slightest. Yes, yes indeed. Um, HV energy hatch sodium potassium okay 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 so he's got this thing he's got, he's got this thing automated okay um by chance do you know uh, uh -huh. where we might have mm. uh, the assembly machine that I'm looking at? Yeah, it's like right over here. Oh, sweet, cool. I was <laughs> I was asking the question as I was leaving the clean room because I needed to make the energy hatches, and the clean room is where I was typically doing that. Um, uh, but you cleaned up the clean room, and I no longer knew what I was doing anymore. <laughs> does the energy hatch need to be in the clean room? Because we can move it. Not. No, not for that. Okay. Man. All right. Uh, however, I do need to make more sodium potassium. So let's make more sodium potassium. I also need HV machine hull. Okay, cat's gone. <laughs> yes, yes, indeed. Paige was just tired of seeing my face. Hello, Midnight. How you doing? Carpet cam two. All right, HV energy hatch. I got one. Now I need LPICs, gold cable. LPIC, gold cable, and then I need the coil doodad. High voltage coil. Which we have some of. How convenient. So I just need to make some of the sodium potassium. Which is in the chemical reactor right here. Which is already full of shit. Um. Hmm. Um. What? What have, what have you done? What did I do? What do you mean? Uh, the the MV wall that I was using for stuff, or the MV manual section, you have automated. Oh, that? Oh, you can you can break all that. That was just because it took ages, and I wanted the uranium to run overnight. <sighs> and uh, yeah, you you can. Which one? The reactor? Do you need? The the chemical reactor. Yeah. Yeah, oh yeah, you can sh you can shut that buffer down. Oh, okay. Um, but it's got a whole bunch of shit in it. Well, you can flush that back into the network. I just... See. 
the uraninite processing for the hex the uranium hexafluoride and stuff that was a slow one and we had hundreds to go through so i just i know how dare let me uh do that and then do that and now you're all set hooray all right so that's gonna take a little bit of time to cook It's funny, you say you say you were spell checking correcting to car, but you said ACR, which is also advanced chemical reactor. So you were correct the first time. <laughs> you were accidentally correct the first time. that. I'm just going to go over in here and do this. Because I want it now. So we need, what, seven more? moment to chill and wait for the chemicals to finish cooking. The chemicals finished cooking. Sodium potassium in the network. So now I have the two energy hatches. Um, I also need HV energy converter. I think, do we have one? We do not. Our lathing rods, not extruding rods, eh? Right. Yes. fine it's faster i just picked the wrong pattern oh yeah I, uh, yes i'm still confused extruding rods it, it, it's one to two regardless it shouldn't be a different pattern regardless i don't know i just wanted to make sure i didn't want the system to be like well this is technically a lathe one because that's the recipe you selected you nah, know, don't, I don't it don't give a shit well, if it's got ingots on the left and it's got rods on the right, it's all that matters. I just wanted to make sure. Okie dokie. Alright, I need the HV energy converter, and I think we're just gonna do let's do let's do 16 amp. Let's just let's just crank it up all the way. 16 amp. Um HV 16 converter. H T H V. Do you have any alloy smelters over there by chance? I do not know. Dang. Okay. Gold cable. Gold cable. It's fine. I just need an E V alloy smelter for this recipe, and I was hoping you had one. Ah. Yeah. No. I never got that far. I hadn't decided if I was going to throw alloy smelting into my mix because we were doing so much of the bulk crafting of right, alloys. Right. Yeah. And that makes total sense. I just was yeah. kind of hoping. Okay. Oh, look at that, we actually had everything in the network to make. I need, I need to pause to do right, gold that was cables. Not a problem at all. Okay, there's an EV alloy smelter on the EV wall or line, whatever. Nice. 
Uh, cables, cables, cables. Go. Oh my god, even still it's going to take 50 seconds. All of the wires, all of the cables. Perfect. Wait, EB recipe 15 seconds? Gross. 50 seconds. 50. 5 zero. Even worse. That is gross. Yeah. Alright, gold cables. We have 1x gold cable already did. Um, and we have 1x, or 1x gold wire. We do not have any of the other gold wire, so we're going to automate that. Oops. Uh, gold. Gold wire. Go the gold cables. Uh, so two X we did not need, but we do need four X and eight and sixteen. I'm going to have to probably do a lot more now that I'm looking at it. Because of so many damn recipes that are needed and so many cables that are needed, I might end up needing more interfaces to deal with this crap. I've got two stacks of 36, and that might not be enough. I have a tier 4 microminer in my pocket. Oh, do you? I do. Interesting. I guess I should probably do that part, shouldn't I? It's, yeah, the quest is waiting for the uh, the medium projector for that triggers. Okie dokie. Let's, uh, let's do that. I have the medium projector item. Uh, let's see. We need all of the things. So we need the muffler, maintenance, energies, um, output, input of the bus variety. So let's, um, let's do EV input bus, EV output bus, um, muffler, we already have one because I accidentally made one, muffler, Maintenance. Uh, tempered glass. The great machine casing. And I already made the steel frame box, so how many of those? Eight, I think it was. Yep, eight. Then we need 48 of the Microverse Projector casings. We need some diamond blocks. Chisel. And then we need uh, 36 of this. So we should end up with 48. Done. Alright, as per usual, this is temporary. <laughs> Alright. How do I make it show the ghost again? 
I think you right click on the controller once it's placed. Yeah, it's placed and it's not doing it. Or shift right click or. Ah, yeah, there we go. Oh, this is, this is difficult. I need I need to chisel these into uh, purple space was it purple space yeah all right and then we need these things and we need that thing nice 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 I'm just assembling it okay So, maintenance hatch. It doesn't particularly matter. Muffler. Um, we do need the energy hatches. Uh, I was going to do... Let's do two energy hatches on this side. Oh, uh... I didn't do my EV energy hatches. Oh, uh, hang on. Let's uh, take a quick peek. Yeah, I need the EV energy hatches. Okay. Uh, could you do me a favor? Probably. Uh, we need two EV energy hatches. Really? Yeah. Because all of the advanced microminer recipes are IV, so we need two of them. Okay, so you need two energy hatches, huh? Yep, two EV energy hatches. We already have sodium potassium in the network. And we have an EV assembler, so that's a start. Um, I don't know about the PICs, though. Yeah, I've made those. Okay, good, good. Yeah, I, I mean, I've done the... Uh, yeah, we can do it. I've made them for the like the chemical reactor. But the large one in the other room. But I will uh, make another. Okie dokie. Need two? Two. We need two EVs to make an IV. Hey. Open it up. Oh, I suppose I need an EV uh, energy converter. 16x, which we can do easily. And we 
we can just put that right right here. That'll be fine. Uh, we need some more EV wiring, which is also easy enough. Need some conduits. under for now uh, and so we can cable over to whatever uh, network thing we need to do over here for the ins and outs It is all set up, including wiring, except for the EV energy hatches and whatever maintenance needs to be done. I uh, just throw tape into the maintenance hatch. That so, fixes it. Is that okay? That's why the uh, the out the smelter in the other in the ore processing room has a duct tape on it. Because instead of doing the actual maintenance, I just threw tape in it and then like tape appeared onto it. Interesting. And then does right. that that prevents all maintenance even when building? Uh, I think so. You may have to wait for it to be built as a structure first, and then throw the tape in there. But then, yeah, it fixes all the problems. Interesting. Is that uh, does that get consumed over time? I think they do. Yeah, for each tape in the slot, anytime like a maintenance problem would happen, it consumes a tape instead. As I understand it. Uh, but your hatches are in the network. Oh, sweet. Um, the EV energy hatches. I also need a wire cutters to snip those into place. XIV maintenance hatch duct taped no maintenance problems max EU a tick 8192 IV idling all right good good one sec actually before I send that through I should probably fix the uh, the issue with your iridium processing first might be an idea, yeah. Otherwise, that'll get all jammed up weird. Alright, then I'm going to continue working on the... So we have this now. Oh, hey! Nice! Uh, I need... need more of these. Yeah. Wrong one! I'll use that one later. I need the HV version. Because we're doing HV energy hatches. So I need HV. Right. That should take a moment to cook. Done. Oh, I need I need more? No, done. Okay. But I do need the 16x uh, vibrant alloy wire, which I keep having to craft by hand. So let's go automate that too. Okay. 
So the vibrant alloy is our HV superconductor wire that we're doing. Um, I, I do happen to have some, but that's fine. We're gonna automate it anyway. Vibrant alloy wire. We're gonna just automate all of them. Done. <laughs> Missed. All right, so let's kill you. Put you down. And then we kill you. Did you know I just now upgraded my ABF? Hooray! Hooray. Alright, so those are the HV energy hatches now. And then we slap it down some HV cables. Snippity snippity. Get that thing cooking at full speed. Alright, and then let's do... Three more. We're gonna move this one over here so we can automate that the same way. You go away. Uh, you go away. You go away. You go away. You go away. Okay. Gimme. Done. All right, so now we do the same thing. Where's your maintenance hatch? Oh, your maintenance hatch is on the back bottom, right. Okay, so we do uh, doodly do, doodly do, doodly do, doodly do. Doot. 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 So this is the same way we've got the input and the output buses. box and then we need, we need we need a box and then we need a storage bus an, an or dick storage bus specifically so conduits conduits We do have an import bus, but we don't have a storage bus. Uh, I do need an import import bus here, though. Need some cables. All right, you know what? Never mind. That was indium processing over there, not iridium, so that was not necessary. Ah, let's see. For me to look into. But it's good that we did anyways. Good that we did. I guess. And it was only backed up because it needs both sphalerite and galena ore in the mixer, and it only has sphalerite, so it's 
not actually a problem. Well, alright then. So, anyways. Oop. We need 64 petroleum dust and 8 quantum flux. Uh, do I need to do anything with that? No. Okay. So we'll make you a thousand, and hopefully they will share the load a little bit. Um, we might need to um, just conduit everything, but we'll see if it can share the load by doing it this way. Right, I'm about to send this buffer. Oh, hang on, I want to see it. Oh, okay. But deep. Okay. And you go. Whee. I know I haven't hooked that up yet, but. And it's on 20%. 40 second cook time. That's not so bad. To get all sorts of new ores. That's exciting. Iridosmine and Osmeridium. Nice. So let's just straight up uh, Iridium and Osmium in the same quantities almost. I don't know, it's a little bit more Iridium than Osmium, but... And it says it's done. Yep, she's sitting there. So we've got Iridosmine and Osmeridium. I feel like those two are the same thing but backwards. Yeah, one one is Iridium for Osmium, and then the other <laughs> right. one is Osmium for Iridium. Fair enough. Hooray! There it goes. Should be processing. That is nifty. I so like how we just completely skipped over Tier 3. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're on tier four. It's fine, and we only did what we a did couple one, runs two, of tier and a four. We we did um, we only did like two or three ones. Did we even do more than one two? Uh, I think so. I, I I don't remember doing any twos. Oh. Um, I think you did twos. I think you mentioned it, but I don't think I ever saw any of the outputs or anything. Yeah. Uh, Cidrite, Tetrahydrite, Almondine, Lepidolite, Tungstate, more Shelite, or just a bunch of gems for the tier 3. Hmm. Curious. Dense oil sands ore and a compressed infinity dust block. Interesting. Yeah. That's how we'll get our infinity dusts later. Do we need them in quantities? I don't remember seeing don't quantities needed. I mean, the game wouldn't lie to us, would it? Absolutely 100% yes. Oh. Yeah, you're probably right. Well, yeah, I know the screens of infinity, but, I mean, we've needed them in the dozens at this point and we've automated them in the hundreds. So I can't imagine needing more of them unless there's some like crazy ramp up of need of Graves of Infinity later. Enriched Nakwada Dust. Yep, found it. Grains of Infinity go into Enriched Nakwada Dust. Ah. And it's four okay. grains per Enriched. That's the one. Found it. 
I was, I was wondering that we, we didn't need any of them at all. And then all of a sudden we're like gonna need a whole bunch. Oh, and uh, stellar alloy, but that's not a thing we need for anything. Never mind. Hmm. But yeah, enriched Nakoda is one of the one of the next high tier metals that are in pretty high usage. Sure. Okay. I I, I was wondering because you see something like the compressed infinity dust block, and you oh yeah, no, I think it might sure. be something like dense diamond ore, which we definitely need. Yeah, we're not making nearly enough diamonds. Right. I mean, maybe we're not. The lapis would be nice, though. Lapis could be nice, yeah. We don't have an infinite source of that. Yeah. Well, here's our temporary, our temporary new uh, microverse setup. Temporary. What was I doing? Oh, I was gonna finish the the freezer to make sure that's all good to go. Uh, I just need this back. So it is getting hot ingots, which is good. Uh, you need to be an in. You need to be an always out. Needs maintenance. Let's throw some duct tape in there. Oh, how do I make duct tape? Polyethylene. All right, we got our iridium and osmium dust into the network. Nice. PBI sheets. Polycaprolactum. Uh, what recipe were you using for the uh, duct tape? Uh. The which of the carbon fiber mesh yeah. and the polyethylene sheets with poly polyethylene fluid. Pretty sure. Yeah, I don't have. I don't have the first two, the black ones, and then we don't have silicon rubber yet, so that's the only one we can do. Oh, I didn't see that there was a PE sheet recipe. I thought that was just a duplicate of a silicon rubber recipe. Yep. Okay. Okay. And that's uh, an assembler. Okay, let me get some. Let me get some of that made up. PE sheets. And that was a four to one. Four to one. And then we need some PE for the liquid. And it's two per. So a stack. Fair enough. And tank. We have an extractor on this line. We have an assembly machine. We have an extractor. Handy. I need another stack. I need another. I need another half stack. There we go. Okay. Assembly. Fuck. <laughs> Assembly, put those things in, get some duct tape going.
I love how you just slap duct tape on it. We have more duct tape in the network. I made a half stack. Nice. Because I kept wanting it instead of pulling out all the damn tools. Yeah. Okay, so is this sharing the load? Because uh, if it's not sharing the load, then I'm going to need to... Oh, should probably turn the microverse stuff off. <clears throat> huh? The microverse, the ingots. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I saw uh, we're at several thousand at this point. Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, well, that yeah. should be enough for the large one later. Yep. So we're gonna kill this, and we're gonna remove this, and we're going to connect that, turn you off, you are an in, you are an in, and you just need to be switched to Red Robin. Okay. Alright, the uh, vacuum freezer has been set up, so they are now round robin sharing the load. Nice. And they are now EV, so they're going to be even faster. As if they weren't already fast enough. You just make an EV energy hatches over there? All, all the damn. No, uh, just a pair of HVs. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing? Dang. It went from a, a single um, HV to a dual MV, or EV. Because to smelt the uh, iridium, we need we need an IV furnace. Ah, so that means we need more EV hatches. Yeah. So what? How how bad was that to make? The IV hatch. Uh, to, mm. You made a pair of EV hatches for the microverse. Oh, the EV hatches we meant. Uh, it's not so bad. The tungsten steel is the worst bit. Okay. Is it just because we don't have much of it or what? Correct. Got it. Or no, it was... Yeah, was it tungsten steel? The wire assembler? Yeah. For the voltage coil. Ah, uh, okay. Let me see if I can get some more tungsten steel. You going? Tungsten steel wires in here. We do have tung we have tungsten wires, but we do not have tungsten steel wires. Hey, Gizmo, get out of there! Get out of there! He's being a butt. He's being a he's being a butt. And he immediately run, runs back to cause problems. Alright, wire. Wire mill. Ingot. Wire mill. Autocraft. Okay. So I've got the tungsten steel wires and fine wire on autocraft now. Alright. Because I know you needed it for the coil thing. Aluminum cables are already on autocraft. Uh, 
Uh, do we or can we have the LPICs and the PICs on AutoCraft? Rather than doing manuals? Um... Let me just double check. I mean, we have 124 PICs in the network. Sure. So we have a, a, a bit to hang on. Uh, right, because they needed that EV cutting saw and an and the, the EV laser. Or no, an HV laser. Uh, yeah, we can, we can, we can get those auto crafting. He, I think he tore a hole really in one of his mice's. He, he tore a hole straight in the bottom of the damn thing. Gotta push it. You know, there's a good chance we might also just want a second um, clean room. I am I am okay with this for, for space reasons for science um, we could alternately have a really big clean room well we can make another one just make a massive yeah yeah could be the entire top section of my big gray building yeah if you want yeah I mean if you if you need a project right now uh, right now, no. <laughs> <laughs> but if if that is a thing that you want to do, um, I can I can plan that into my building redecoration design because it's gonna have windows, so it's gonna look neat regardless. Is the top floor of this thing? at five height internal is that going to be big enough internal five height yeah i mean this is this internal, is internal four, four, four height. okay so yeah okay all right uh so we've got we got we got long rods, auto crafted. Uh, we've got, I mean, we've got bolts ready to auto craft. He did not auto craft bolts. I thought he was doing a bolt. Okay. We got we got small gears ready to go. Um, we've got gears ready to go. Uh, I do need to enhance all of these. So we need more pattern cards. I don't know that many. Need more crafting cards. All right, let's get let's get all of these enhanced up, ready to go. I will enhance the mid ones once I figure out what's going there. Where's your toy? Where's your toy? He lost his toy. not going to cooperate. There it goes. <laughs> Look at him go.
Where, where'd you put it? Where'd you put it? So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do rings, I think. No, I'm not gonna do rings, cause that was bad, that was bad. Um, what was the easy one to do? It wasn't small gears. It was long rods, yes, long rods was an easy one to do. Let's let's do the long rods. All right, so long rods. Long rods are here. We already have the long tungsten steel rods. Uh, we need. Titanium long rod. We need magnalium. Now these are all materials that we don't even have yet. But these are the ones that came up on the list to do. Alright, and then we need ruridit. 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 Uh, osmiridium. Not osmium, but osmiridium. Uh, H S S S S S. Molybdenum disilicide. Molybdenum disilicide. Those are hard to say sometimes. Um, magnetic samarium. So that's going to be the magnetic ones are ones I'm going to do later. And then uh, we also need. A lot more. I was wrong. <laughs> I thought long rods would be the easy one to do, but they are not the easy one to do. Um, I just did the ones that we need directly, but there are also a whole bunch that we need as prerequisites to other things. Um, and that's almost all of them. Cool. Well, I'm going to go ahead and put these in the thingy because I already, already made them, so why the hell not? Uh, we'll put them over here. Gizmo. Alright, well we have more rods available, if necessary. Um, those are those are gonna happen at some point or another. Um, let's take a look at rings quick. Rings are alright. Uh, let's figure out, because we've got um, screw, that's a lathe. Let's do some springs, because I know the springs are ones that we need. And those are going to go in the benders, I do believe. So we're going to have the springs over here. We've got double plates here, so foils and springs. So foils are springs, metal benders and small springs, I think I decided. That is, if we have enough room. I think we do. Uh, but let's do a handful of spring items. Uh, 
And these all require the long rods, which is why I needed to do all of the rods. Bah, humbug. I did it again. Apparently crystal teen ingots aren't in a, aren't a, uh, a quest item, which is interesting. Interesting. I wonder what it is. I don't know, but we got one anyway. Well, we have three more in the network, but... Nice. Uh, we do not need the iron spring, but we need the lead. Uh, we do need the tin spring. So I'm going to stop there. We're just going to do that many, and I think we'll put them in the foils. Put them over here. And I think that's all the recipes Unless I Unless it's one of those in. things where I need a stack of them in my inventory for it to trigger. Probably. That might be an endgame one. Yeah. Crystal teen, you say? Yeah. No, I don't think so. Oh, weird. Okay. At least it's not coming up in the search. Well, fair enough. Yeah. Crystal matrix ingots, yes. But well, crystal team, no. Yeah, we're not making those just yet. Yeah. Okie dokie. So, this thing's done. Oh, package auto's done. Nice. I wonder if that packaged auto would be... Did we ever figure out what that actually does? I've read that description several times and still don't fully understand it. I didn't really look at it, I'm just doing quests. <laughs> okay. Because I, I, I think I re read that one and I thought originally that it was like... Like a packager, where, you know, if you put in four 1x wires, you're going to get a one 4x wire out. But the way I read it, it sounds more like it's meant to bundle up boxes of items for faster item transport. Yeah, I think that you go through like the, the assembly lines or something then. Yeah. That way, like, because the packager looks like you can have like nine stacks of each item or recipe is in there. Mm -hmm. And so I wonder if you do, you package up all the items, you send it through the the assembly line to make suddenly nine stacks of whatever you need like right rapidly craft stuff that would be kind of neat if if that's what that does yeah howdy hiffin pock i'm doing well how are you doing we're, we're kind of we're kind of winding down for our night though um we're kind of running low on stuff that isn't a big job Matter energy. Are you doing that uh, extending auto crafting? I mean, I was looking at it, but this is going to be a pain in the butt to make, so maybe it not. It is. Oh, nope. Can't do it. Oh, okay. I what, need osmeridium ingots. Ah, okay. Um... What's it gonna take to cook to, to craft or to cook those up? Because you just got the ore. Uh ludicrous voltage blast furnace. Oh, is that all? Okay. So Yep. Cool. Need that to make the crystal teen components. Okay. Which, yeah. Okay, well. Good job. Then. I was so close. I wanted to finish another tab. <laughs> well, we've already finished three tabs so far. Not tonight, but total. Right. Now we're one away from a fourth tab. Uh, one away from a fifth tab, too, because you're almost done with the uh, simulating tab. Oh, well, yeah. Once we get 
Distilling mm -hmm. liquid nether air. Do an EV for, uh, freezer down there? Uh, we do. Let's, uh, I set it up waiting specifically to do the nether air thing. We could, we could do that. We, we could do that. How do we want to do that? Because we got to wirelessly transfer power. Want to make some more dynamos? Uh, we can do the dynamo with the chest thing, or let's see. Insomnia kicked in again. Oh no. That sucks. I hate when that happens. Yeah, no. Here's a better idea. Or a different idea. I'm listening. Let's make a slice and splice. Okay. For for what purpose? Uh because then we can make dimensional transceivers. Ah and then just dump the power around that way. I legit forgot dimensional transceivers existed. So did I. But we need a slice and splice for the ender resonator. Okay. We have everything that that requires except for the actual machine. And we have almost nothing required for the slice and splice in the network. What are we missing? Uh, I mean, when I went to craft it, the only thing that was available was the zombie head. I mean, we, we have to craft the energized bimetal gears, we have to craft the, the soul machine chassis. So all the things. The dementia transceivers. <laughs> you want to do the uh, soul, mach soul machine chassis and I'll do the rest? Sure, why not? Soul powder, solarium dust, soul powder, solarium dust. I think it's eight. Eight, yeah. Do they have a mass rate over here? We do not have a mass rate over here. We have soul. Okay. Perfect. Alright, uh, alloys melter. Do -do -do. Soul chassis in the network. Noise. Wee. The splicey splice. Ooh, new VR headset arrived. What did you get? And why did it not come with controllers? for this. We need... Bits and bobs. An axe and shears. Easy enough. Which which brand of doped wafer do we have readily available? Glowstone? Yeah, we have, we have technically both. Okay, glowstones are in there. Okay, solarium ingots, vibrant, and an enderman head. I got the indie head. You can just control click them in, they'll go to the right spot. Or shift click. Oh. Yeah, it's it's a smart enough machine, it knows what, what's supposed to take what. Alright, so there's this. Okay, so we got the thingy. Um, we do happen to need two of them, though, now that I think about it. Yeah, that's fair. Right, I'll make the second one, or make the second head. Oh, right. We just made two heads. Never mind. Forgot about that.
Ah, you went from 5 to 5 Pro 2. Nice. Did we? I only have one in my pocket. Uh, it supposedly made two per the recipe listing. I wonder if I accidentally just threw it somewhere. Um, not in my pocket. My magnet's on, so I would have gotten it. Interesting. You sure you only got two? Or only got one? Yes. Okay, I'll make another one. Hand them in head. Oh, no. We're good. You good? Okay. My bad. Uh, do we have two vibrant crystals? We do. It's churning. Crunchy. So crunchy. Well, and the soul binder went off while I was sitting over here because I wasn't I, I didn't know what you were using it for. And I didn't know it was automated. So it started going off next to me. I'm like, ah, that's creepy. What is that? What is that for? The ender crystal. Here. Ah. Aha. Yeah. Aha. And this takes R this can take RF power, is that right? Yeah. Sick. No power. Oh. Oh, it needs a. Okay. Oh, yeah. Capacitor. <laughs> okay, so these need to be configured. What do you do? Oh, you're Put doing the bigger com one. Compressed octadec. Here, take that one for yours. Okay. So we need to make channels. Oh. Mmm. Mmm. Pine power. Nice. Pine power. Pretty sure this one needs to be set to send. Yes. Do these have infinite throughput? Uh, no. I just don't know what their limitations are. Fair. I mean, I think it's going to be... Oh, did that really say max 80? I per tick? Mu, mu I per tick? U I per tick? Whichever, whichever variant of symbol that is. Uh, well, the... Yeah, it's, it's Mu. But for the other bar, the send-receive buffer, says max IO is 327,000. Oh, I wonder what the first bar is for, then. Maybe, I don't know, running the machine itself. I, ah, I could be, know. yeah. Alright, well, the octo the octodic capacitor is the correct one for this tier, I guess. Um, to the nether. Oh, we need a... Um, Nether air. Oh, do we have an ender tank for that? Uh, not yet, no. Uh, nether air. Okay, well, there's this two. We, we care need about at colors. least an MV gas collector. Nether air can be, I don't know, um, reds or something. What haven't we used? Um. Yeah, we haven't used reds at all. I'm making the uh, power requirements and I've got the gas doodad. We don't have red dye. Oh, uh, we have a couple flowers left. Let's do it. Eight.
Wait a second, we don't need ender tanks. Huh? Sort of. Oh. Well, nah, it's it's easier to do the ender tank unless we've set that thing up exactly where we want the, where we want the fluid to go in and out. Yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah. You, you set them up? Oh no, we didn't have. Uh... We we have flowers. Ah, a couple of poppies. We have exactly enough flowers. Amazing how much color is a difficulty in this pack. Uh, yes, Valuna, that is exactly what I said. There. Uh, sure, sure, why not? Okay. Alright, they're both yours. Okay. To the nether! Well, set one in the vacuum freezer first. Oh, okay. Because we need a bucket of liquid air. I'm Me? pretty sure. Yeah, liquid nether air. Alright, so you go there. And then that's just going to be a, a pipe to go there. But uh, we'll set that in a sec. Maybe. Uh, sure. And then it needs to be an EV distillation tower. Already done. Well, then, shit. Nice. I am on the ball. Yeah, apparently. Just floundering over here. I don't know what you've even done in this pack. <laughs> <laughs> I set that up like three sessions ago and we never bothered going to go get the nether air. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you wanna you wanna come set up the nether air thing? Yeah. Wee. Ah. 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 Okay. Okay. Well, I, I see. Look at that. That was where my fountain was gonna go. Oh. But I never got that far. Yeah, we don't really need it. Because we either. didn't end up needing it exactly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I was right right here. Sure. Why not? All right. Octo capacitor. Set it up on pine power to receive. Oh yeah. Receiving just fine. Perfect, perfect. Kitty. Kitty. You you stepped exactly where I was gonna put power cables. I had to figure out what chunk it was in to chunk load it. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, am I am I good chunk wise? Yes. Okay. Good. Yeah, I did the two by two chunk area around it. Okay. circuit. Oh, it does need a circuit, doesn't it? Sweet. Alright, so then we get another air. And that's flowing, and that should already be going into the freezer to chill down this really toasty air. Go find out. We are freezing away and we have 28 buckets of liquid nether air already. And if I recall, we have a uh, nice distilling liquid nether air. If I recall, we have a distillation tower. We're ready to go for this thing as well. Uh, yeah. We probably don't have super tanks for all the outputs, though. 
Um, probably not. We do for the hydrogen sulfide, and that's it. Oh, um, we do not have one ready for the liquid nether air. Oh, we because we replaced it with the charcoal byproducts. Shit. Well, um, right. that was a temporary though that we never set up. But yeah, we can. Yeah, we, we need it. Yeah. Okay. Um, should we finish off another tower then? Sure. What do you need? Uh, let's see. What do I need? I need. I need another eight clean stainless steel casings, which should be on autocraft. Yep, and done. Six outputs. I need another. Uh, no, I need I need more than that, but I don't know the number yet. I need. I need another four HV output hatches. Done. Okay. Give me a sec to get these on. So we've got input, output, 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 output. All right, we need another uh, 25 of the clean stainless steel casings. So I guess that would be another 17, I think, because of the, of the uh, eight that we're in there. So. Good luck. Yeah. That's not right. All right, we are formed. Liquid nether air. So we are we are formed. Um, it is configured for liquid nether air output from the network. So as, as soon as we get a spot to import that into the network, okay, we, we should be good. That's good. Um, we need fluid import buses. Fluid import buses. Cables. Six outputs from the liquid nether air. One, two, three, four, five, six. Plus a small pile of ashes, which might come out, which is going to come in from here. All right, we're good. Uh, sign. Signage is good. That's not a sign at all. The, uh, the storage, the fluid storage. What do you mean? Oh, am I setting it up? Yeah. No. Okay. So I am, I am running this liquid nether air show then. How many outputs does it have? Six. We've already Six. got tank for one. Okay. Um, and there's 
five super tanks in the network. Uh, All right. That's. I don't know. That's space. We are running out of space. So many fluids. I mean, they don't necessarily need to be multi-double spaced apart. Just saying. No, they don't, but it makes it easier to navigate through. That is very true. Uh, M MV, mm. machine... I was going to say, yeah, I guess the other option, I know we already talked about this, but with the... Uh, the the server room one side of those me drives could be all regular storage item storage and the other half could be part like a partitioned or whatever fluid drives so things don't overflow into others i mean if we're okay with whatever those limited drives are partitioned to and without the option of overflow protection like the fluid oh, right. voiding. the overflow protection, that's right. Yeah, the that voiding, the voiding has been yep. critical for a lot of these. Yep, that's right, never yeah. mind. Never mind. You got that bucket of uh, liquid nether air? Uh, I do. 4K. Because uh, we need a spot to store it. Oh. I always just grab it from J or JEI or whatever and drag it oh. in. But yeah, either way. There. It's in it's in this one I'm standing on. This one, okay. put a an import on that freezer oh you know probably not I don't actually know what these outputs are gonna be yet because I don't remember which ones we've got uh, but let's do that I do believe we still need one more. Need more signage. Yes, fridges are fridging. Right. 
So you're cranking down faster than it's being generated, so that's good. So, we have nothing, 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 nothing. You're not doing anything. Exporting liquid nether air. Ooh, telepad. I have no idea why we would need that, but... Uh, that was basically one of the two or three options listed to get back from the moon safely. Right, but it was by far the most complicated. So. It is. Uh, yeah. Place online. We are exporting liquid nether air. Structure formed. Why you no do thing? Liquid nether air. Distillation tower. EV, EV, no maintenance problems, it's just not doing the thing. I do not know why this is not running. Distillation tower, structure formed, no maintenance. Okay, fluid export bus has exported into the input hatch. It is full, it has power, it has the right power level, it just Let's not come go. take a look, it did not, did 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 not did go. Where? This one. This one. Ah. This one. It's got fluid input, structure formed, no maintenance problems, idling, EV, which is required for the liquid nether air. It did all, it did all the do it's supposed to do. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, import, export, yeah, yeah. okay, yeah. yeah. Like a hippin' punk. Appreciate. Right. The chance of small pile of ash is coming out. That's unfortunate. Which is fine. It's just gonna get imported to the network, whatevs. Yeah. Okay. Ah. Found the problem. What's the problem? Now can you spot the problem? Can I spot the problem? Hey! I never hooked it up! You never plugged it in! <laughs> Turns out, you have to plug in devices for them yeah. to use power. <laughs> uh, oops. There we go. Ah! You pushed me off the, off the building. It was mostly accidental. Mostly. Alright, uh, plugged, plugged in. Um. Okay. Well, I found, I found one of your problems. I found one of the problems. Oh. <laughs> it is plugged in now, which is great. The energy hatches do indeed have power. Um. Now I have even less of an idea of what's wrong. Like, structure formed, it is a valid structure. Yes. It is maintained. Yes. It has power. True. It has the correct power. It does. It has the fluid that is required in the input hatch in the correct location. Right. Yep. I am out of ideas.
break it and replace it. I was hoping, anyways. Yeah, worth a try. Um. Well, let's see. And I have confirmed like four times that liquid nether air is indeed the thing that goes into the distillation tower to come out with stuff. EV, 100, 100 seconds, not pleasant, but what else? Curious. It has a hollow center. It does. Wouldn't have formed the structure otherwise. No, I know. Okay, yeah. Yep, you just fell through it, yep. Structure incomplete. Place the block, structure formed, maintenance fine. That is very strange. It's wild. Yeah, this has power. Mm hmm Ashes have power. Mm-hmm. All the other ones are running, so it's not like it's a full multi-block problem. Right. Uh, if you're talking about this thing, no. This is just feeding liquids from down below, whereas this is feeding liquids from the network. And the liquid is in here. We've got 64,000 liquid nether air. We got the fluids. It's, it's doing the thing. It's just not doing the rest of the thing. What the hell? And there's there's no other liquids in any of the output tanks that might be preventing it. Right. Yeah, they've never run to have yeah. any. Even still, they would just yeah, sit there and fill up. Um input half. Hmm. Input half. Yeah, they're all, I mean, I, I built them all at the same time. They're all built the same way. The only no, difference I is I'm I finished just, this I mean, one last. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm so just... confused. Uh... Okay, it's not a matter of it straddling two chunks. Okay, that's good. Huh. No, uh, e even our obnoxious power production is not running out because these these machines they have the power. It's up in the upper le upper left corner, all That's yellow, weird full power. And wild stuff. Yeah, the only thing I can think of is that something's broken with the actual recipe. I guess I can try and reboot the server at some point. Yeah, and might, see if might be worth that. Kicks it back in the gear. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it should be working. Hmm. Hmm. Right, this, yeah, this cable is still connected all the way through. Yep. I mean, I wouldn't have gotten the nether air otherwise, so... Snipper. Snipper, snipper. We, we, we snipper, we snipper to prevent that problem from happening again. Yep, I am at a loss. Literally, the only thing I did different, other than build it on a set or finish building it on a separate day, is I use duct tape when I don't normally do that. But that's the only thing different from the entire rest of the batch of these machines is I use duct tape. Could try building it elsewhere, could try rebuilding it, or, or breaking and replacing some of the blocks. Just to see if that will help. Um, typically, breaking and replacing the controller fixes stuff like this. But I don't know. Um, let's do tape. Because this one needs tape. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Okay. There's like a chance of damage or something. This one's running constantly though, so let's uh tack another tape in there.
I mean, I technically do have another location. This spot here is bare, so we could potentially rebuild it. Um, uh, was that was that stealing the maintenance hatch from a known working one? Yes. Okay. It does need maintenance now. All right, repair it the normal way, and we'll see what that does. One sec. Gotta grab all the tools. Some weird and wild stuff. It is. Uh, yep. These these are all facing the right direction. This is the export bus that is pushing fluids from the network into the box, which has the fluids, and these are the pulling fluids out of the box once the fluids are generated. So those are all facing the right way. They're all doing what they're supposed to do. Literally, the yeah, only I guess thing that's not beyond doing is tearing it down and rebuilding it, it's just yeah. Uh, we'll we'll fiddle yeah. with it over the weekend. Yeah, for sure. Or reboot the server and then fiddle with it. Probably both. Po possibly both. Yeah. Um, I'm done for the night. We've accomplished a lot. Yeah, we cleared up another tab. Cleared up a whole other tab, and I I got. A good chunk of my my machine room done, and we got the next tier of uh, micro miner, micro microverse miner, and we have the next tier. We have IV circuits on AutoCraft. We got IV circuits on AutoCraft, which is awesome. They're, they're only going up to fifty, so ah, okay, but, that's fair. I mean, yeah, but but we've got them. We've got them. We do have the next tier circuit assembler, so in theory we could go. Go even more. More, yeah. More, well, we gotta go better. better EV circuits with the nano computer, I think. Okay. Nano supercomputer. Oh no, that's a that's an IV tier. That's gonna require. Okay, so if you look at the mid game tab. Coming uh, yep. down from the top right with that large chemical reactor, just going straight down and then following that L across to the epoxy and then the epoxy substrate. That is <laughs> what is going to be required. I that see. whole thing. I see. So we're going to need an area to do chemical stuff in again. Okay. And uh, then we can start making the better board so we can make the next circuits. Epoxy substrate. And then yeah. system on a chip. And then nano circuits. And yeah. then nano CPUs. I think nano CPUs and systems on a chip go into making the nano circuits. Right. Advanced system on a chip. Fancy. Well, that looks like a pain in the ass. It does. But, but looking at the rest of the mid game, I think it de I mean, it depends. But if we like focus on Tuesday, there's a there's a non zero chance we could clean clean up all of these. OK, OK, possibly. I mean, I don't know about these chemicals in the top right that uh, we'll have to look at that. It'll be know. fine. It'll be fine. Oh, wait. We can actually check one of those off. One sec. Oh, is it one that we, we already had? They're in the network. I just never put them in my pocket. Nice. We are very close to RTX 5090 Ti. Yes. Um, have you seen some of the circuitry in this game? Like, Maybe. it's insane. 
Wait, it requires nitric acid? Have I not put nitric acid in my pocket either? Uh, wait a sec. Oh, we have, we have okay. nitric acid in the network? Yeah, I gotta do... Uh, do we have any... Oh, okay, perfect. So, the ZPM... Quantum processor mainframes, crystal uh, supercomputers, shit, and wetware consumed. processors. Do this. So, Hold on. Nice. There we go. Nice. And then there's that. <laughs> also nice. And then this. Uh-huh, yep. Okay. Good. Is that it? I think so. Um, <laughs> don't we have acetic acid? Haven't we had that? Is that one of the quests? It is. Mm, yeah, grab a bucket of it. Bucket. Bucket. Perfect. Uh, ethanone. Ethanone. I don't think we've gotten that one. No. No. That's doesn't. acetone in a distillation tower or acetic and sulfuric. Okay, that's how we'll do it. Meh. In a reactor. Um, yeah, we'll do it late next time, but easy enough to knock that out. Yeah. Oh, and uh, there's one that we could do, but you're processing it all. The heavy fuel. What? Oh, do you just need a bucket of heavy fuel? I need a bucket of heavy fuel, but it keeps coming in and disappearing out of the network. Uh... Sulfuric heavy fuel... Where is this going? And naphtha, if you happen to be making any of that, I'm not entirely sure. Check the there's sulfuric naphtha in the system. Okay. I don't think there's just regular. I don't know what that takes to make. Probably just processing out the sulfur. Right. I was able to catch some. <laughs> nice. I am so yeah, also knocking, sleepy, so I'm not sure I'll be able to. Chemistry stuff out. We're gonna need a space to do it in. Yeah. And I mean, then... I have a lot of building over there, and I, I'm not sure how much of that I'm gonna need. So we've Here. got space if necessary. Yeah. True. True. But I'm thinking top floor for the clean room, the the big ass clean room. Um, I might do another floor up or down for more machine works. The clean room does have a size limit as well. Oh, I think it can only go up to fifteen by fifteen by fifteen. Oh, I think. Sad. So I'll probably just want fifteen, fifteen, five. Sad. Or seven or whatever if you want floor and ceiling, but I think uh, the quest book for it says let's see yeah clean clean room pattern itself doesn't say much oh yeah the quest says the clean room can be built in any size between 5x5x5 five by five by five and 15x15x15 by 15 by 15. okay well, that's only half of this building then. It is, but that's still a pretty big. I mean, the other thing that I've been seeing in recipes is a sterile clean room. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what that entails. 
Oh, probably the sterilization, sterilizing mm. filter casings. Oh god, that's ludicrous voltage. <laughs> Never mind. Little, little bit later. Little Iridium later. rotors. Yep. L ludicrous voltage emitters and a black light. Yep. Okay. Fun. Well, fun, 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 fun. Yes. All right. Well, that's it. Until Tuesday. Okay. Bye. Bye. Okay. That's the, that's the Minecrafty done for the day. Um, so over the weekend, I'm going to try my damnedest to finish putting in all of the recipes. I've only gotten a handful, of mostly the ones that we've needed. Um, so I'm going to try my damnedest to fix the rest of them, uh, which is a lot of recipes. It's like hundreds and hundreds of recipes. Um, I'm going to try my best to do it. I don't know how much I'm going to get done, but I'm going to try. Um, and then I also have a possibility of redecorating. Because um, I have this um, black flooring here with the stairway. I really like it, but I want more aesthetic. So this big ass gray building might end up not being a gray building by the time we're done here. Um, so Tuesday might have an entirely new decor. If it doesn't happen by Tuesday, it's probably going to end up being the next weekend, um, depending on how much time I've got on my hands. I know this weekend is kind of stuffed for me, so maybe. Solid, solid maybe on that. Um, I don't know how much people want to actually watch me attempting to redecorate because um, I tend to change my mind a lot and have no idea what I'm doing so staring blankly and trying out different textures which you saw me a little bit do when I was doing this floor here so I don't know how much people want to see me attempt to decorate because it takes brain power and like fiddling and testing but if you guys want to see that I can try to make a stream of it um, maybe maybe we'll uh, ask in discord see who wants to see what but um, but yeah good luck sleeping Haven Punk I know that can be difficult at times. Um, Paige may, may see in Discord in a moment. We'll see. But uh, yeah, whoever else might still be lurking out there, thank you all for coming. And I will see you all next time. Bye.